probably going to show up. <laughs> I think Vex seemed like he was kind of hurting for time yeah. anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so we'll uh, we'll kind of get everything, you know, roughly kind of set up here. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. everyone's characters. Uh, if anyone wants to just, or if everyone just wants to give a kind of like a brief introductions, like say your name and the name of your character and kind of roughly what you're about. We can kind of, you know, just super brief, just so everyone can kind of hear everybody else and what they're about, you know. Uh, anyone want to start? Uh, sure, I'll start. Uh, John Arnold, character is Dio Machina, and Dio Machina is essentially a, uh, a recluse who uh, dedicated his life to self-improvement and believes anyone that shows any uh, meritable traits is, uh, well, worthy of his uh, worldview. But in general, he tends to make a lot more enemies by his kind of standoffish and, well, just generally not outgoing uh, personality. Okay. All right. Anyone next? Uh, sure, I'll go. Uh, so, uh, my name's Ali. Hi. And uh, my character is the Green Ghost. And. Uh, the green ghost is like sort of a big deal like think like not like su- superman level fame but like go like i don't know martian manhunt they're like pretty big uh and um sort of did like a lot of stuff in his time uh it was a really big superhero and uh people don't uh he's come to this group and no one really knows why uh as far as you know so yeah just uh big sort of traditional superhero speaks in the third person really hammy kind of kind of dude that's good uh by the way um uh, d can you uh can you hear everyone yeah i can sure. uh and uh, anyone want to go next uh, yeah, I'll go. <clears throat> my character's name... I did not give him a name. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do... Uh, Eric McCallum. Alright, and his uh, alias is Thundershock. He's a sound-based hero. Um, a little bit of natural ability that's uh, where he can produce sound waves from the surface of his skin, and that's amplified by his uh, his suit, which has like an array of speakers all over him. Cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, Uni. Hey, I'm Uni. Um, my character is Dazzle. He has famous parents and. The not not superhero parents, but they're just in the entertainment industry, and he's trying to gain his fame through his own methods, being a superhero and an actor. He's over the top and uh, dramatic, and yeah. Oh yeah, he uses light-based powers. Seems to be about everybody, so we can kind of get started. Um, you guys are, uh, this is going to be your, like, your very first day at the team. Uh, unless you want to specify of knowing anyone, this will be your first time meeting everyone. Uh, you're currently, uh, riding inside a, uh, I, I describe it as like a, like a triple wide, like hum, like Hummer kind of style, uh, limousine. It's in the back. Uh, it's, it seems uh, pretty fancy for the low rent team that you're going to be joining, and uh, everyone's just kind of seated around a circle. It's it's pretty high tech stuff in there. Uh, you see like the map of the uh, the town that you're currently in, and uh, the live updates of the superhero draft going on right now. Um, you can hear some current events going on. You can hear that the. Uh, the team right near you guys 
which uh, would be the um, Knights of Olympus. And it's just captured a uh, B rank supervillain and is bringing them back to their base. The supervillain's name is Voltside. And uh, you guys kind of recognize these names. They're, you know, it, most of you are pretty well, you know, knowledged in superhero teams in this area. Even though this exact team that you're on, it seems kind of, you know, it, its history isn't super well known. You guys want to say anything to each other? You're just going to be kind of pulling up pretty soon. It's, you know, quiet aside from the radio going off on that those current events. Uh, so and we're I, all in uh, costume real quick. Oh yeah. Everybody's in costume. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, I, I look at, uh, is it, uh, I look at, uh, is it like Thundershock? What's your, what's your yeah, character's name? Thundershock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I go, oh, that, that's quite the costume you have there. And I sort of like uh, put my arms on my hips like proudly and uh, just sort of give a big sort of cheesy grin. So the shock is probably going to be a little bit hungover and, and he's going to be like, um, yeah, this, uh, I have a guy. <laughs> uh, uh, he, uh, Green Ghost just awkwardly looks away and stares at the floor. <laughs> <laughs> First day of school all over again. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys are uh, pulling close. Uh, as you can hear, that's um, the uh, you can hear the the newscaster kind of uh, going over that same story of the Knights of Olympus, and he's going, "Well, there seems to be a, a change in uh, the Knights of Olympus plan. They seem to be." the person downtown instead of bringing them back to base this is a, a strange event but uh, we'll, we'll keep you people updated live don't worry uh do you know, you know, looks at the uh screen and you can see his head kind of tilt to more fully face the screen as he uh comments to the group at large well that's peculiar indeed it's quite against protocol yeah, I'm gonna be like, um, wow, he must have really pissed them off. Hmm. All I know I is that they could have done a lot better of a job for him. Uh, what's that? What's just the... kind of rests his back up against the uh, seat and just kind of tilts his head down. Uh, what's the name of the villain again that they're taking? Uh, Vault Side. There you go. Uh, the Green Ghost goes, yes, uh, Vault Side, I, uh, <laughs> I had a run in with him back in 02. Quite the quite the villain. Put a put up a real fight, but I uh, I got him. I got him. Okay. Uh Green <laughs> by the way, Green Ghost, your your picture is, is amazing. Yeah, it's all I got all right. Leave me. <laughs> could you uh <laughs> could you could you uh <laughs> Look it was what it's the aesthetic I was going for. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> That's pretty wonderful. Uh, <laughs> um, after what the Green Ghost said, uh, Dio Machina just kind of snorts, but because his uh, helmet vocalization is still on, it uh, reverberates through the uh, vehicle. Could you could you do me a quick thing, real quick? Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm being redundant there. Uh, could you just uh, roll a uh, professional roll for me, Green Ghost? Oh, okay, cool. I can I can totally do that. Uh, I think I have something in that. Let me check. Um, right now. No, that's not what I want to do. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Uh, couch sheet. Professional uh, role. Oh. You know, all right, yeah. Uh, you uh, you recognize? I mean, you did tussle with him briefly, and you you know that uh, Volt Side is uh, he's he's kind of a a strange villain to be taken seriously. Like he's he's tough and he has electric shock powers, but uh, he's not really anything that would hold up half of a team. I I would I would also like to mention I was like. Uh, that wasn't actually me knowing him. I was lying through the skin of my teeth. 
<laughs> you might okay then maybe you heard a story from one of your former uh like the people that you've worked with you do realize like from some other things yeah he he's got some shock powers you know he's not really a guy that's somebody that would hold up a whole like a, like a like a he's not a huge deal he's like b tier yeah it's like the Avengers getting held up by Scorpion. It's it's kind of confusing, you know. You yeah. wouldn't you wouldn't yeah. normally see that happen. Okay. Anything else anyone wants to kind of check out? I said you do have the, the computer screen here. You have the radio going, and uh, other than that, we're gonna pull up to the uh, the little mansion. So uh, as you're pulling up, uh, you see a. a uh, to be a man in a bathrobe not wearing anything underneath and a superhero mask uh, with a Pegasus kind of imprint on the uh, the head of the mask and he's kind of waving you down and <laughs> you uh, you all recognize this as uh, your origin or the leader of your group we're not leader the owner of your group uh, the Pegasus uh, the first Pegasus. He's, he seems to be very, very excited. He has a, uh, a drink in his hand, and he's waving with his other hand like that, like, Oh, hey, guys! Hey, you're over here! Yeah. <laughs> I, he uh, mutters under his breath, Oh, God, the rumors were true. Oh, my gosh, I was going to say that! <laughs> <laughs> we can do, like, a both at the same time kind of uh, rumors were true moment. <laughs> uh, uh, could I do another professional role to know about uh, the Pegasus? Go right ahead. Cool. Actually, if anyone else here wants to do a professional role, they can. Uh, can I do a tech role in place of that? Uh, tech, because I can well, probably check have the computer, a computer. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone here, like, uh, I was gonna let you guys know you can like access the computer in here or anything like that. You, you're all superheroes, so. Yeah, well, okay. for me, I have a built-in uh, command set up uh, back, which is what's on my computer. Uh, so let's see here. Oh, wow. Jesus. Yeah, so safe to say, um, <laughs> Dio Machina knows a lot. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, uh, I'd say that you you have a cursory knowledge of him. You know him as kind of like this, uh, you know, like a, he, he is like a. I would say in this universe, he is like a a Superman of sorts. But he's oh, okay. a Superman that's has found a way to whittle at his legacy for quite a while now. <laughs> but, uh, John, you recognize him as the hard partying. Uh, super famous in the 70s, now has been, who, uh, and you're aware of his, I would say this team is sort of a money-making scheme <laughs> that he's got going right now. And uh, you recognize also, him. But I also probably have some information as to his relationship with his daughter, I believe. It's not good. Uh, she, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't talk to him. She is the president of the league. Okay. Prestigious hero still. Uh, yeah, um, so Dio Machina is definitely not going to be polite to the Pegasus, but he's definitely not going to be outright uh, rude to him. <laughs> Realize you, uh, that. Do you tell oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, do you, uh, Machina, do you tell that to all of us? Do you give it, Do you give us like that information? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I probably am, but I'm just going to give a brief summary of basically... This guy is a compulsive partier who can't manage anything to save his life. He also seems like quite the man to run a team. He uh, he also is one of the like famously one of the greatest like uh, like fighters of like all time. Like like he doesn't have any real powers, but he could take down guys with like immense super strength and stuff. He just is such a proficient fighter and then just such a scrappy guy. How long has it been since he's used any of that? And if he can still do it, that's kind of debatable. <laughs> but he, like, he's still known to be like that good of a hero that has made this big of a fall far down, you know? Okay. Well, uh, the, the limo driver who may or may not be a, a 
Android or something. Just presses the button, all your doors unlock, and uh, you guys are kind of free to get out. The Pegasus is waving at you. I'm like, yeah. hey, guys. Hey. Come on. It's nice yeah. to meet everybody. Yeah, Come on I'm, out. I'm going to go over uh, and say hi. <laughs> um, I, would I have met this guy at one of my parties? Uh, you, you might have met him. I mean, uh, I'd say like, uh, like you, you, you might have seen him before. He doesn't fight crime anymore, really. Yeah. So like, he's kind of just like he, if you went partying somewhere, you might have seen yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's I'm, definitely I'm thinking, like, yeah. I'm thinking that we both yeah. share something of that party lifestyle somewhere. <laughs> so like, I probably would have a. Uh, uh, cross paths with him at a few parties. So I'll just be like, um, like I wouldn't know him, but I know who who he is outside of the hero stuff. So I'd say like, uh, you know, he, hey, Pegasus. He's kind of a dork that. Oh yeah, yeah, he's kind of a dork that wears his mask when he goes out partying too. Yeah, like he definitely he likes being <laughs> recognized. Him, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So so he's he's coming. He's just shaking your hand. He's he's yeah. you know like wagging it up and down like like oh it's so great to see you. <laughs> I'll be like good to be here, man. That's good to have hey. some more people on the team. <laughs> I look around confused and I ask, where are the fans? I brought my best autograph pen. <laughs> Dio Mark uh, just is kind of sighs to himself. I hate to tell you guys this, but uh, this is going to be kind of a low aisle meeting right now. We're just kind of getting everyone to know each other. So, well, there'll be fans later on. All right, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, it's uh, as, nice. As, oops, sorry. Uh, as I like, as the green guy steps out of the car, his eyes go like wide, like crazy wide, and he uh, runs up to Pegasus and like goes, oh, I'm, I'm, and then he comes down and goes, oh, Pegasus, uh, it's good to see you again. And he puts his arm out. It's uh, like, uh, do you remember the time we fought the, um, and he like, he, uh, he looks to left, like the, uh, uh Dio Machina is going to roll for uh tech real quick. But uh, also green ghost, do you want to give me a, a roll? For uh, professionals, so you can think of a random supervillain off the top of your head. <laughs> yeah, and if you can think of one quick enough, then can you just use my uh, recent tech roll to uh, supplement that? All right, so cool. I right, one success. <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, Dio Marking is going to step in and finish uh, the Green Ghost's comments by basically elaborating on uh, a villain that he knows that the two have fought against. Over the random name, or do you want me to? Uh, just, just give it a villain. Just, just, just give us a villain. The Legionnaire. <laughs> the Legionnaire Bullshit. basically comes up with as many copies of himself as humanly possible, but the problem is that at some point in time, he's no longer relevant, partially because he got so confused and just broken by uh, his own lack of identity after a while. Damn, that's a. That's a solid run down. Uh, yeah, I got up to pay for uh, uh, pay for this guy. Uh, yeah, do you remember that time we fought the the Legionnaire together? It's uh, good to see you, my man. And I, right, he I, starts I, shaking I, your hand, patting your back, going. You can tell he has no idea wh what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> like yesterday. <laughs> it was a great uh, fight. <laughs> uh, Green Green Ghost retreats to the back and doesn't say anything for like another ten minutes. <laughs> Dio Machina just gives him a uh, very brief nod. Uh, I I can as well as I walk past. Uh, I'll let, I'll have you guys meet the uh, the rest of the team here. Hey uh, Dina, Dina, you got Boulder Boy? Yeah, a woman come out in like kind of a stereotypical kind of secretary wear. Uh, she's got like red hair like bunched up. She's uh. Ooh. She she kind of like pokes her head out the door like yeah just just one second here like whispering and then she she wakes her way out. Uh, hello, uh, I'm uh, I'm Dina Athena. I'm the uh, I, I handle all the finances here, and uh, in just a moment you'll meet older boy. It's kind of like an awkward silence when she finishes saying that. Here's somebody kind of like 
thumping around like downstairs and then you see a uh, scrap like a very scraggly looking guy in his 20s with his uh his mask like pulled down to his neck and he's like got like a like a near empty bottle of uh, vodka and he's just like oh jeez got sunglasses on <laughs> who are these losers Hello yourself. Hey, I'm a famous superhero, okay? For the Atlas man. <laughs> I look over at Pegasus and go, I am not babysitting him. He's not my problem. <laughs> oh, don't worry about him. He's he's perfectly capable of fighting alongside you. Okay, so I rolled a two in uh, tech in place of a uh, professional. Uh, Dio Machina basically looks, um, at, uh, looks at him and So I tried to see how much I could learn about you, Boulder Boy, and I find that you're just as insignificant as the rest of us. Meet you. You Dio walk in uh, and you can... his hand. Insignificant, speak for yourself. <laughs> When you uh, when you look into his background for the, with two successes, you can tell that he's uh, he is kind of like he is famous. Uh, he hasn't done anything since leaving Atlas Man, really. Um, he has d- uh, dated a couple celebrities. Uh, that's about it. And he yeah, D- Dio Machina is like he's very big on meritocracy. So basically, Boulder Boy is like the poster child of what Dio Machina considers to be entirely unmeritable. In other words, he, yeah, has he, he is nepotism. Room. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not super well known, but like there's rumors on the street that Atlas Man is just his dad anyway. So he's, <laughs> but he does have super strength. You do know that from having the the two successes. You can tell he he is a really strong guy. It's just you know not super good at his job. <laughs> yeah. But he is famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who's the team leader here? That's me, by the way. I'm Boulder Boy. And uh, it's nice to meet all of you, though. We'll wait, all get along wait. great, and you're not all going to die like everybody else has. Excellent. Hey, come team on. Leader. Those were all accidents, guys. <laughs> 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 Dio Machina is about to say something, but can I uh, roll real quick for uh, tech again? But this time not for professional. What are you? What are you doing it for? Uh, okay. Basically, can I just describe uh, five very kind of rough around the edges kind of. Uh, robots kind of like stumbling across the street as they're like sprinting for their lives and they round a corner and they slip up and then they pile up into the middle of the street causing a a brief kind of a traffic jam as they uh climb up off of each other and then scramble over to Dio Machina oh god I forgot about them oh, oh okay so you're like oh you're describing the scene of your minions coming over essentially yeah okay yeah, well, who are um, these cute little fellas? Uh, I forgot to turn them off again. Yes, minion one, minion five. I thought I told you to just cover my patrols for me. Basically, the minions at the moment uh, should not have the ability to respond outside of uh, their ability to communicate through the uh, command computer on Diomachina's back. Yeah. So no one else will uh, hear except for Dio Machina, unless of course anyone has a power that can uh, hack into Dio Machina's computer. But <laughs> yeah, I have um, <laughs> super senses. <laughs> yeah. Listen to him like he's like a computer. <laughs> yeah. are, they, are they like your children? <laughs> no, no, they're just prototypes for a more ambitious project of mine. Uh, I thought I could make out some really competent AI, but instead all I made was a bunch of glorified AI. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> uh, as this is unfolding, uh, 
Can uh, everyone here roll a, a perception for me? Okay. Um. It's in the top the middle. Computer froze up. Oh no. <laughs> Tragedy oh, strikes. Quick, role play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I wasn't sure if, uh, there you any? Uh, ugh. What's going Sign on? Up. It's computer difficulties. Okay. That's all right. If you want, real quick, I can just make a little roll. What's your, I think your perception was, actually, I can pull Two. it over right here. Two? Yeah. I'll just make a quick roll for you, so then, while you're doing that. Okay. Once I figure out how to work a computer here myself, there we go. <laughs> so, um, and ghost and, uh, you guys notice that, um, uh, as soon as Boulder Boy, well, this is, well, the things are happening with, uh, the, uh, the two robots, um, when Boulder Boy made that comment about the accidents, uh, Dina kind of like turned over and kind of like nudged him in a way that was a little bit suspicious. Uh, I, I'm going to uh, look at Pegasus. And when you go, um, I heard talk of accidents. Uh, what, what's that meant to mean? Oh, well, you know, he's trying to find a mission that fits the, the quality of the superheroes you got here. All right. And uh, sometimes people aren't ready for certain missions. You know, they, yeah, you know, they they get hurt. He seems like he's he's pre being pretty genuine, but if you want to press him, you can. Uh, can I real? Uh, oh, I really should uh, clarify this, but I rolled. Yeah, uh, just let something. me know like what you're doing before we roll, okay? Yeah, I was just going for a professional to come up with some random schmuck to be uh, an unfortunate stand-in for one of the examples Dio, Noc uh, Dio Machina would be aware of. Um, something like something like uh, Rubber Boy was uh, reported to the superheroes and got faced off against uh, Magma Man. You know, like really off-kilter um, villains for you know the wrong type of hero. <laughs> Yeah, it, it seems like uh, when you look into uh, this online, uh, it's it's shrouded in quite a bit of mystery. But uh, on the, the the pseudo Reddit of this universe, uh, on the conspiracy boards, there are uh, superhero conspiracy boards, which is like the conspiracy boards but for superheroes. Uh, <laughs> the, there's rumors that uh, like these are definitely like way out of their like totally out of their wheelhouse, like. You guys are like a like a like a D team, and you're going up against A list villains because you guys have ranked missions that you're supposed to be taking, and it seems like people were taking way too high rank missions, which they're allowed to do, but it's generally frowned upon if you're not ready. Dio Machina uh, is just going to remain silent for now, but he's definitely step out of the uh, center of the group, more off to the side. Before he goes, I I, uh, I I look at him after and I go, don't uh, don't uh, I don't go on the superhero conspiracy boards anymore. They uh, a lot of stuff about me on there. Not uh, not great. I, I I look back at like Boulder Boy and go, so what happened to the uh, old recruits then? Uh, well they uh, they couldn't handle it, man. I don't know, we, we faced off a couple of really tough guys, and then they seemed like they got wiped out pretty quick. Uh, so that, uh, from what you read, uh, Boulder Boy is really, really durable. Like, he, he might be an idiot, but, like, trying to kill him is pretty hard. <laughs> so, <laughs> if, if they were going against really tough foes, they might have just knocked his ass unconscious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do anything about it. Yeah, okay. Someone could have like punched him like you know a city away, and he'd be fine relatively. But like he might just be unconscious. <laughs> you know? yeah. Okay. Anyone else want to do anything though before we get to, or before we move forward? Uh, 
Oh, um, Pegasus kind of stands there, like shaking his glass. He, you can tell he looks bored, like he wants to go party or something like that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he kind of like motions to like Dina, like eh, eh, you, uh, you can uh, handle these guys. And uh, she she motions for you to uh, follow her into the mansion. And uh, Boulder Boy kind of like, but he's going upstairs away from her. Like he must be just going to his room. Doesn't seem to want to chat any longer. <laughs> and uh, she she's bringing you in. Um, and you can see the very crude map that I have here uh, that I just found online to represent nothing. Uh -huh. There's just kind of like a, a round table in the main room, and uh, there's like a really large uh, a uh, like computer over on like uh, the far end of the room, just over here. And uh, it, it's like a super computer, like a big Batman computer. <laughs> you know? And, you're walking uh, upstairs at it, uh, wondrously. I, I stare yeah. and go, I have four of those. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the bluffing. It's really good. And, uh, <laughs> and, a, and a biplane. I actually do have a biplane. That's, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> it's parked outside. <laughs> uh, so uh, she she kind of motions towards the uh, the the table in front of you. Uh, this is where we uh, we go over all of our missions, and uh, the computer behind us is where we uh, do all of our research. Uh, basically, when we're going through the, the mission, uh, there should be a, a hologram display in the middle of the table. Um, uh, this is all open access to everyone. Uh, you should have gotten uh, your email and passwords uh, sent to you. It's um, you have access to you have a access to all the files, as all of you know. And so, in case you need, if we have any super villains, you need to look up. And someone like you, Deus, you have a, a computer with you, which will, you, you can link to the systems here, and you can always go through the database if you need to look up a villain if they're in the database or another hero if you want to. You know, just in case. Right. It'll be interesting to see how this thing works. See if it's any different than my setup. I ask, so how's the room service here? I have a few uh, mandroids that uh, will, uh, you know, come oh, in. They clean the <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, they're, they're pretty good cooks. You get the occasional one that doesn't know what they're doing, and uh, sometimes... Uh, Boulder Boy will eat other people's food, so make sure that if, you know, you should have a refrigerator in your room and, and keep it locked. He's, he's pretty bad about that. Uh, the has a sudden realization. Wait. Oh god, where did my robots go? He looks <laughs> behind him and sees that they're no longer behind him. Oh no. This will be a later problem. Uh, continue. <laughs> Ah, yes. Uh, so yeah, the, the room service here is good. Uh, you just need to buzz someone. You should have a, a red buzzer on your desks. Um, if you'd like to check out your rooms, there's not really much else on the chore here. Uh, when you guys are done, uh, just kind of mixing and matching and everything, we can uh, we can get started and see if there's any missions that you guys can do. Just kind of stands uh, there looking very awkward, blinks. <laughs> will, uh, will, will Boulder boy be accompanying us on these missions? Up, I, I'd say, yeah, he... he <laughs> sometimes he shows up halfway through the mission, that's... That's the thing that happens. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> I mean, that's... I mean, to be honest, if you lock him in his room, there's a good chance he'll just give up and not do the mission anyway, but that's... That's entirely up to you, if you... <laughs> if you feel like you might be more of a hindrance. No, 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 no. Uh, it's just that you know. Uh, I'm I'm assuming he is de facto leader, right? I, I don't want to. Yeah, you know. he is the leader, but we usually um, uh, just assume someone else is the leader when uh, he's. Uh, it's a complicated situation we have with Boulder Boy. Uh, he's um, a merchandise, so we we do have to keep him here, and uh, he's he sometimes is really good with missions. Uh, and then sometimes he's not so good. And uh, we don't blame the fellow superheroes here if they need to take a slightly more mm, abrasive approach to not having him there with them. 
and such. So if, uh, if you know, I'll help you pick a mission if the leader can't. It's, it's okay. You know, the way I... S- well, the way I see things at the moment, and from where I'm standing, you apparently are the one actually managing the team. No offense, but Boulder Boy is self-evident, and from what I know of Pegasus, his glory days are not only far gone, but he's less hero and more partier now. Yeah, I mean... Uh... He is a Dalmatian in Firehouse. (laughs) Uh, I go, go, all offense, I will not be taking orders from the likes of him. (laughs) Uh, That's totally fine. He actually doesn't usually give any orders anyway. He's he's pretty bad about that. Um, Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm the uh, person in charge. Pegasus does make a lot of... What's the word I'm looking for? Um... Decisions relating to the public. He's very good with people. Uh, as uh, someone like uh, you, Dazzle, uh, that he he loves the the pizzazz, the look, and all of that. He's he's all about that Pegasus. Uh, it, it's just the the money thing. He's kind of like um, not good with at all and terrible. So I <laughs> I have to manage a lot of that and you know the team support and morale. That's mostly my job. And you also are probably the reason why we're all gathered. I mean, obviously Pegasus probably had a bit of a hand in it, but you probably were the one who had to manage the finances to get us here in the first place. Now, he sometimes will... uh, Make impulsive decisions. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Uh, He sometimes picks randomly out of a hat and stuff like that. But uh, usually he, you know, he, he... he makes good decisions. I feel like this team is really strong. I feel like uh, this time uh, things are going to go well. And she seems very, very stressed. <laughs> Can I just describe as uh, two of my uh, robot minions suddenly enter into the room covered in mud and one of them is holding an apple? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's literally just how they show up. They're literally like dragging mud and deal walking and just slowly turns around looking at them. Mark and I, I have to say, I love them. They are, they are wonderful. <laughs> you've, you've created something beautiful here. Uh, they're supposed to be combat robots. Do they dance? And I'm going to play music. <laughs> if you, if you Unfortunately, they do most things very well, except for fighting. So yes, they do end up dancing if you do play music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like some Eastern European um, uh, EDM type stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just real on that now, it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say, Yuri? Uh, uh, nothing, they're just... He was like, uh, the, they're meant to be fighters, and I just thought it'd be funny if one of them th- tried to throw an apple at his head or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Can we actually have the robot with the uh, apple try and toss it at uh, Dio real quick? <laughs> but, we, uh, is, is, there's like a like some sort of like faint points in this, isn't there? Like a, I swear, or is that something else? Am I being an idiot? Uh, there, there are fate point like things in that um, you get a uh, the hell is it called? Oh my god, resolve. resolve, and that resolve can be used. Oh, I was saying, oh, sorry. It, it, It'd be a waste to use that to have him throw the apple at Dio's head, but it's also <laughs> it would be quite good. So I'm debating it right now. I just I just want to mention. Yeah, uh, yeah. As I said, the the resolve can be used a couple different ways. You can kind of edit a scene slightly. Um, yeah. Reroll one number, or you can just decide to reroll a whole hand or something like that. It's pretty. It's pretty handy. I think everyone here, for as uh, many gonna... flaws as you have, you have that many uh, resolve with you right now. Cool. I have two flaws. All right, I am. I'm gonna look at uh, the lady whose name I forgot. Damn it. Uh, and uh, Dina. Yes, Dina. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, yes, I'm gonna uh, look at her and uh, say, "So uh, missions, then. Uh, what?" What's available? You know, I've, I'm sure we're all very eager to get to. 
Well, uh, at the moment, and as she's talking, uh, you guys uh, see a, a, a kind of like a, a like a little uh, light on the uh, uh, the dash of the computer. It starts uh, kind of like blaring, like a, like a siren, but there's no like siren going off. It's like it's just lighting up. Uh, she looks very worried. She starts kind of like hitting a button, and you see like a a mission pop up, and it's an emergency mission. Which means that uh, you guys need to take it, and uh, it's uh, she's kind of like trying to click it off, like she's trying to like close it out almost. <laughs> uh, Gio Machina, no, 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 no. Uh, as soon as Gio Machina notices the uh, the flashing, he begins to uh, kind of fast walk over towards the uh, supercomputer and uh, takes out some sort of uh, cord from one of the um, compartments on his suit, hooks it up to the computer on his back, and then tries to access the uh, supercomputer uh, yeah. just to uh, learn about the situation as quickly as possible. Great. Uh, as soon as you do that, the, uh, the alarm stops, and uh, it pops up on the screen and on your miniature screen. Um, unknown number of uh, villains that seem to not be... Um, at the current time, they are not known villains, have uh, attacked the Knights of Olympus's base. And it seems like the Knights of Olympus uh, have been, uh, the majority of them have been taken out, or taken out, sorry. And uh, the only members uh, currently at the base are Slashinga and Midas Man. The rest of the team is currently missing in action. And Voltside is not uh, at the scene either. How so body, that's the, I, how badly did someone screw up there? <laughs> we have to help them. That I've I I used to to, to read about that we look, we need to go help these guys. I uh, I take out the keys to my biplane and I said, uh, does anyone know how we're going to get there? Maybe we should hold off a bit and wait till the press. <laughs> the <can> press? <laughs> Dio Machina just uh, says uh, to himself, but uh, carries through the room. Negative. This is definitely not to be taken lightly. Uh, any attack on a hero group is definitely not something some D-list villains try and pull off. Yeah, uh, this is something definitely, this, like, you're not getting the vibe that this would be a... Uh, a this, like, uh, from what you know of the superhero universe, when somebody attacks, it, getting inside of a superhero base is rare in general. They usually have some sort of large especially someone like the knights of olympus they have like a large wall with like a field around it so getting inside is not easy yeah oh uh would it also be possible to have my duplicate all be um active if it's not in combat uh, about because... all right uh and when I do make the duplicate, it's like a duplicate with my uh, costume on, right? Because that'd be weird if you suddenly get naked. Uh, <laughs> it's just a new dude body. right in the middle of the room, guys. <laughs> 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 like, who's this random naked guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, he does pop in with his uh, costume on, right? Yeah, he does. All right, guys, I can explain why there's a naked dude. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, Dion Machina is going to make a duplicate of himself and tell the duplicate to round up the uh, the robot minions and try and call in uh, the reserves, which is, like, only three more to total the minions at, like, eight. So it'll represent, like, an eight threat when in actual use. Okay, I, 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 I run over to Dio and I go, look, you're, like, the... You've you've done all this stuff so far. You're like sort of like the leader, right? You gotta give like a speech. You gotta get them all to to come with us, and we gotta look. We gotta, you know, we gotta get there. Dio Machina suddenly freezes for a moment as a realization. I'm a man of action. Um, people skills is secondary to say the least. Well, then who else is gonna be the leader? Look at her! I point to Dazzler. Uh, I'm a him. 
him to him. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. Okay. <laughs> uh, I point at him and go, Look at Dazzler. Do you want him to be leader? I mean, look. Be nice. I can do things and I can do them well. I am not a public face. Uh, so this point, I do want to mention that uh, Green Ghost does have the fame perk. So, uh, like, he is he is famous. Uh, I, I'm just going to go run over to Thunder the Shock and go, Look, how about you? Do you want to be leader? Um, yeah, sure, I'll take the gig. Does it pay anything? I get really offended I'm not, that I'm the last one that he's going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're definitely not the last one I'm going to ask. <laughs> uh, <laughs> As, um, as you're all talking, uh, you hear a, a, a stumbling down the stairs, and uh, you see uh, your intrepid leader <laughs> uh, pop up. <clears throat> all right, guys. I saw that there was an emergency situation on my wristwatch. Is everybody here ready to roll? Uh, uh, just as he says this, can uh, my duplicate come in with all of the remaining assembled I mean Kind of come in. Oh yeah. Uh, as he uh, says this, can my duplicate uh, arrive again with the uh, remaining uh, uh, robot minions? All of your guys show up. That's fine. Yeah. But they're they're all kind of like in the entrance way, I assume. Yeah, they're just uh, standing there, and just for some flavor, somehow or another, the robot minions got their hands on various hats and pieces of kind of uh, ribbon that they kind of draped themselves in. I thought you were going to say merchandise. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> they have some sweet Pegasus shirts in there. I walk up to Boulder Boy and I go, um, do, you, do you know how we're going to, uh, what's our methods of transportation? How are we going to get there as quick as possible? Ah, uh, don't worry. We have a jet. Fly. <laughs> he, you could smell alcohol in his breath really bad. It's. it's uh, uh, I deep, say, okay, whatever you say, like, boss. And I sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Dina in the back waving, like, no, we have a robot that drives. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to, if you guys want to follow me. Well, uh, I am like over there, and we're gonna kick some super villain ass, okay? Hell yeah! I, I, I'm one step behind him. I literally like, I am practically like breathing down his neck, like following <laughs> him as he as he goes to jet. I, uh, Dio Machina, the original, steps in beside his uh, duplicate. And they start a uh, start a uh, conversation with one another while their minions uh, trail behind them. And they uh, follow uh, older boy. Could I? Could I maybe like call journalists or something on speed dial and be like, "Hey, we're gonna be in this place. It's gonna be awesome. Be there." Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, you could always like just kind of like send like an anonymous tip or something like that to like DMZ <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like... <laughs> Sli yeah slightly, uh, slightly meta, but does Dazzler also have the fame perk? I, I have a feeling. You guys are both, you yeah. two are the most, like, famous of the, I mean, obviously enough, Pegasus is the most, like, famous. Yeah, Pegasus famous is the like, actual, like, yeah. Well, he's renowned. Yeah, you guys are super famous, and, and Boulder Boy is known as well, but he, his is more like a Lindsay Lohan situation. It's not, like, <laughs> always positive. <you> know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, I think uh, I like the way Dazzle described uh the uh, character is like, kind of like a late Bigaga, David Bowie type situation. I was like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like very okay. cool. kind of eccentric type thing. Um, are you guys, uh, are you as everyone else, I was else thinking more along? like David Hasselhoff. Continue. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be like the last, the, the last one tagging along, I'm still looking at my phone and stuff. <laughs> like, oh my god, why am I here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, um, as you guys are on your way out, um, oh, sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, no, 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 mind. Continue, continue. You're on your way out, uh, you guys are entering into the, uh, the jet, um, 
a, a robot does step ahead of Boulder Boy and uh, sits in the pilot seat. Uh, he looks slightly offended. <laughs> and uh, he kind of takes a seat and waves you guys to come in and uh, take a seat alongside him, you know? There's there's enough room for everybody. Yeah, we hop one in there. <laughs> yep. And so, um... And I go, you, oh, it's almost as big as my private jet. <laughs> <laughs> you have a private, you have a private jet? Dio Machina just looks over to Dazzler. <laughs> just kind of, like, stare at him. Private jet. I say, take a picture, it'll last longer, and I wink. <laughs> hey, Dio. Uh, you Tons got of pictures on, on, this... on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dio, you got anything on this Midas guy? Uh, so, uh, if you guys want to make some, uh, professional roles, tech, you know, for you, uh, technology, I mean, you guys can actually just check the database, uh, I can just, <laughs> I was gonna say, now that you have your database, you don't we, even really... We check the database to find actually, out... Actually, uh, I could probably inform them if I have, like, a remote or something established with the, uh, basis of, uh, supercomputer. A little, like... Uh, small, like, remember, I, I, I should have said something. Boulder Boy had, like, a little wristwatch there. Uh, it's like a mini computer. You guys can access the thing. I assume, uh, uh, do my, <clears throat> sorry. Whoa. All right, John has a, uh, a better kind of, um, like, technological grasp of it, but you guys do have, like, small computers on your wrists yeah. and stuff, and you have access to the database already. Unless you wanted to do, like, further research, but I can give you the the database description, if you'd like. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. So, uh, on the database, uh, you guys notice that uh, Midas Man is uh, in, in true to his name. He can touch things and turn it into gold. And, wow, uh, that's the worst he, power. <laughs> Poor dude. <laughs> it, is, it is truly bad. But uh, it's more for, for kind of fun for him. Uh, he actually can degrade and improve quality of metals and stuff like that. So, like, if he touches a door, it can, like, disintegrate. Um, so his powers go beyond that, but he likes the gold thing because it, it looks nice. <laughs> All that bling. <laughs> he'll turn it gold and then he'll disintegrate it and stuff like that. You know, he's, he's very, very showy. Um, uh, it's not, not too much else known. Uh, you see that he's in his uh, 30s. Uh, there's a picture of him. He's got like a gold mask. He's giving like a thumbs up. He looks like a cheesy guy, you know. <laughs> uh, what, who, what's the name of the other of the other superhero? Uh, is that the base? Uh, Slashinga. Yeah, Slashinga is a uh, from that what it says name. on there is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, Slashinga is a uh, seven foot tall guy with a raptor head, Ooh. and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and oh. apparently has the ability to like shift one of his or not one both of his arms into like metal blades uh uh he's it, it's his age is kind of unknown because he's a big raptor man and <laughs> wait, 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 wait. so the, me the metal the metal blade and raptor head are separate things that he, he has <laughs> totally <separate. laughs> no nobody's quite sure what's going on there okay <laughs> I like to think. Mysterious. <laughs> but it is the full raptor head. Like, that is not a mask he's wearing. His, his head is a raptor. <laughs> okay, cool. What a strange power for someone who doesn't need to shave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Um, I, have a, I have a joke saved up for later. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to look up uh, before... Uh, Reaching down, uh, seems like you guys are getting close. Uh, Boulder Boy oh. is doing like fake piloting on the co piloting thing, like he's doing it, and you can tell he's doing a bad job. Um, the, uh, they said the, the villain that they were taking when we were listening to the radio in the car that they, they took the villain to the base or they took him somewhere else. Was that sorry? Um, when we were listening yeah, in the car. Uh, they took him down downtown or something, didn't they? The, the, the... Uh, oh, vault side there. Yeah, they tried to take vault side downtown. Um, reports are kind of vague from what you can see online, unless that somebody wants to kind of check the conspiracy superhero Reddit. Uh, it no, seems I'm like kind of... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it seems like they kind of just disappeared. Can always try and hack into um, the police database or something. <laughs> 
Yeah, you can always try. Uh, from but from what everyone tells, they just kind of disappeared. Is what like mine. That's what kind of like is the thing, and the database doesn't have dates like that. That's more so like you check the news. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Else you guys want to look at? Uh, I said I think you got. I told you a bolt side. It's kind of like a B list villain. Uh, he when you look at the database now, you can tell he wears like a kind of like a um, a bill mask and uh, kind of a strange. I would say like a jumpsuit type situation, and uh, he's uh, he has some small electric powers. Huh. He has like minor yeah, super strength. Bunch of pennies. But, that's fine. <laughs> you know, like a version of like Shazam or um, uh, uh, what was it like? Uh, can't remember Shazam's uh, villain. A uh, Black Adam. Black Adam. So kind of like a very uh, you know, Black Adam and Shazam, but lesser. Guy is more like uh, he wouldn't even like. What you normally know this guy has, he's not somebody that could tussle with somebody like that. He's kind of a just to do with minor super strength and minor electric. He's like if the shocker oh. had like super strength essentially. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's like so somewhere between him and Electro with a minor super strength, you know. So real not, real shit. He's not super okay. Right. Like the idea that he could take like the uh Knights of Olympus is uh, a far set best. <laughs> Good to know. Alright. You guys are so I'm getting I'm close. The so agency that came up was at the base yeah, that was in downtown. Was that sorry? Um, the emergency that came up, it's at their base and it wasn't downtown. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are heading down to the base because the base is under attack. Mm -hmm. Um. Like the priority downtown seems to be fine. The police have it all kind of quarantined off because they're not quite, you know, the super villains, you never really know. Like, yeah, um, yeah, for all we know, it could be like a joke. The uh, it could be like a joker moment where the real trap was uh, always lying in wait. All along. it's hard yeah. to tell, like, you never know, like, could be like an interdimensional disease that makes people disappear who fucking knows yeah. <laughs> the police are not like they're like all right let's just quarantine this off like everybody get back <laughs> um as you guys are uh, starting to land uh you see that there is uh, large crowds of people outside the gate uh you guys are landing just outside of the uh the gate area um no one is allowed in past the gate and it doesn't seem like the gates walls are down either uh which is strange enough uh the, uh, the 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 press is all just kind of they're all like screaming and stuff. They're you know you see signs for you know like Green Ghost, you know Dazzler, uh, some for Boulder Boy and stuff. Uh, yeah. Not not no signs that say superheroes of Milwaukee. It's not. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, that's a given. Not like that. Some uh, some other signs like for you know the rest of you guys that you like even if you're not like famous but like you're still known in the superhero. Community. You have like. It's like, you know, professional wrestlers, everybody has a favorite, you know what I mean? And, uh... A cult following, as it were. My favorite exactly. is the guy with the raptor face. <laughs> 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 <That's it. laughs> the large man with the raptor face, with unrelated superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, as you get closer, the, uh, the audience seems to be going pretty wild. Like, they are, like, uh... Like, oh man, we get to see our favorite superheroes. We or we get maybe we get to see some action too, you know? This it's like a like this is like a big event for people in this universe. Getting to see a superhero like showdown. Uh is it possible to like if we are touching down to have my uh head uh head over towards the uh crowd and try and keep them at a safer distance if they are uh too close to the base? Uh, yeah, so, I mean I'll when you guys get out the people are definitely like moving out of the way. Like, there's kind of like a small like like rope barrier that people are kind of behind. You know, like the, the the superheroes usually they know that they might be swarmed with fans, so they they, they have like a small kind of like a rope thing. Like the, the press are all behind that, so the robots able to land in a very safe way, so you guys can just kind of walk in. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, before we even touch down, I'm gonna go intangible. 
but not invisible, just intangible. Okay. And uh, I'm going to phase through the doors so that the I'm the first thing the crowd sees. And I'm just sort of going to induce my fame perk because, uh, you know, sort of try and try and big up the Grey Ghost name because people people yeah. know me and all that. People like uh, you see a couple people really like pop off and get excited when they see uh, it through because like, oh, wow, he used his superpowers, you know, like it's like, oh, that's crazy. You know, mm-hmm. it's uh, they are just all about it. Like they're like, oh, wow, this is awesome. Me that uh, with all the attention he's getting, I try to make it out the like, when it lands. To try to be the first one out, and I raise both my arms up with like gun signs, and I go, "Morning, Milwaukee!" And I shoot like fireworks off my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're they're going off too. They're like, "Oh my god, she's that here. He's actually doing it. He's 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 using superpowers." <laughs> they're all about it. They're like, uh, they're like, "Oh, you're so cool, Dazzle." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, walk, the, I, I, I walk up to I walk up to Daz and go, man, these guys do do not see a lot of action, do they? This <laughs> <laughs> is the Milwaukee crowd, guys. <laughs> I whisper and like, this is probably the most exciting moment of their lives. Don't ruin it. <laughs> no, no, you're not, you're not. <laughs> this probably uh, is. Deal mocking on me while uh, we're the uh, jet rod. Odds. Uh, uh, cleaned them off of the mud, took off their hats, and took off the ribbons, set them aside, and um, uh, makes a point of being the last one out to make sure that he's following in the uh, wake of, you know, all the boister of his uh, teammates. And the robots, he uses his uh, command console to essentially force them into combat mode to make sure that they don't do anything stupid while in front of the crowd. <laughs> And then uh, follows his teammates and has the uh, robots kind of follow in a parade march in a way. It's good. Um, as you guys are leaving, uh, right behind uh, Dazzler is uh, Boulder Boy kind of uh, putting his hood up, uh, taking off his sunglasses. Uh, or not like a hood, but like he, he wears like a cowl type thing. And uh, he's actually seems like he... I wouldn't say he sobers up, but he looks like he's sober. He's like flexing his, you know, very large arms and stuff for the crowd and, you know, hamming it up, uh, falling behind. Uh, you guys are uh, getting close to the uh, the door. The crowd is like just super into this. Uh, they know that they can't go in, though, obviously, because uh, it, it has certain like protectorates that only uh, members of the league can get inside of uh, bases. Um, is there anything guys like to do before or bring in the, the passcode, uh, the base, and then he has to scan his hand because he is the team leader? Um, um, is Ari, if I have uh, my robot, uh, sorry, uh, is Ari, if I have my robot minions line up along the, uh, both sides of the uh, door and uh, kind of in a formation, almost like a breaching formation? That's fine. All right, then they'll do that. My duplicate will. Uh, my duplicate will be on the right side, and I'll take the uh, left side. Yeah, uh, no problem there. Uh, let's see. Um, since you're uh, walking out, uh, oh, who are you trying to charm? <laughs> Yeah, I hit that by mistake. I was, I was wondering if, like, if I should like wander over to to where the ropes are and ask um ask the nearest person what we miss, like, you know, what, if, if they saw anything. I don't know, uh, or... question: Who let the dogs out? Yeah, <laughs> my my house, my uh, neighbors. They all have dogs, and they like showing oh, off. So that's okay. That's totally fine. Everything that fucking let out. <laughs> Everything up until uh, uh, you were asking about uh, to the person. Yeah, um, yeah, the fans got it here. So like, um, it just you know, um, trying to thrash out like what rumors have been going around about what is happening in there. So yeah, like I'd say with the charm there, you find a a fairly knowledgeable uh, reporter. Who seems to be uh, trying to get like a scoop on things? Yeah. Uh, she uh, she's she kind of like leans over like uh, yeah. The rumor has it that uh, there's about three guys in there and uh, base. They're unknown villains. 
Uh, we don't really know much more than that. That's just the rumor going around. I say, well, um, I'm going to go talk to them and uh, see if I can get you an interview. <laughs> I walk back over to the um, <laughs> to the group. <laughs> And I'm going to say, so yeah. I don't know how reliable this is, but uh, there are maybe three guys in there who took out the, um, what, what's the name of the group? Uh, Knights of Olympus. Yeah, so, so there may be three guys in there who are strong enough to, to take out the Knights of Olympus. Just thought you guys would want to know. Well then, now is as good as chance as any to... We are not D rank superheroes, and we are worthy of at least some recognition. I just hope we don't get our asses in there. I, I, go, I go up to Dio and I say, You know what makes an A rank superhero, Dio? Merit. <laughs> uh, preparation. I go invisible, I go intangible, and I look through the door to see if there's anything in there before we open it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you look through and I, just, I, li I literally just put my head in there. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, just... as you put your head through, um, don't see anything right off the bat. It looks like a typical kind of the mansion scenario that uh, you guys normally see. Um, it doesn't. It does look like something went down here. There's some like huge like scrapes across the ground and stuff like that. There's definitely signs of a super scuffle. Okay. I I I take my head out. Uh, go visible again. I say, uh, definitely something gone down there, but it seems empty for now. Uh, definitely some metal raptor claws. So I scrape across the floor. Just uh, watch out for those. <laughs> I see a bunch of like uh, claw marks everywhere. <laughs> no, Scara. I can't remember his name. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a randomly generated name that I thought was ridiculous. So I, um, can, can you tell it to me one more time so I can write it down and never forget? Slashinga, I think. Yeah, Slashinga. Think, think of Slash Dingo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, it's it's ridiculous, good. but I thought it was funny. So I no, I love there. him. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I I take my head back out and go visible again and uh, tell him that it's it's all good in there. Uh, Boulder Boy uh, finishes uh, the retinal scan after he finished his handprint, and uh, he kind of turns over to you guys and he's like, "Yeah, I like this. Go on battle." Yeah, uh, the mm. door starts to open. He looks super excited. Uh, he, uh, he 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 kind of turns back around over, and then he's like, kind of like getting jazz. Turns over again, and he's like, "Yeah, everybody else is super confident, right? Like we're gonna win this fight." I'm going to be really sarcastic, but I don't think he will know. And I'm just going to be like, yeah, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's totally not aware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a bit uh, dumb. I, uh, I, I, I move up next to Bold Boy and says, how can we not lose? We have the immortal green ghost in our team. Come on, let's do this. And I, I, I go <laughs> to walk through the door. <laughs> so the door is open. Uh, you guys don't Particular, I'll uh, switch the page here just so you get it. This oh, one's shit. not as pretty, guys. That's fine. You guys are just coming in right through the uh, the main kind of uh, entrance. I'll just kind of like do a little thing here. So you're coming in right through here. Uh, you, and, need to, uh, you need to drag the players tab onto. Oh, uh, woo, one second. Right, that was my fault. No, nah, Daryl first. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, much better. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, see, see that badly drawn arrow there? That's where you guys are. Uh, oh. <laughs> so uh, you guys are uh, just kind of busting through. It's it's a typical kind of mansion scenario. As I said, we don't have to worry too much about the map. It's not really a big deal. This was more so just kind of yeah. to give you guys like a rough kind of estimate yeah. of what's going on. Uh, there does appear to be, as I said, uh, signs of scuffle. There seems to be like uh, big scrape marks everywhere. Um, uh, there's a couple of things turned uh, turned to gold and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> well, I guess we know who's been here. Well, these guys <laughs> know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they power. 
Um, does anyone else, does anyone want to do any like kind of like a uh, particular uh, roles or anything like that to check out the scenario? I think there's like a. Uh, can I use my uh, tech ability to um, uh, rationalize like all of my robot minions up to the same command computer so they can analyze the situation and feed it into the uh, the computer for analysis? So like anything they see as they're observing will. Uh, so anything you need to roll for, I'd say it's something you can just kind of do. You yeah. Know, like, okay. Anything they check out, you can kind of have like a live feed of, you know. Um, yeah. I will. And uh, so that said, I'm going to have them like fan out across the room and, uh, you know, just kind of investigate uh, various portions of the room. I'll I'll just make a, a perception roll, just to, <laughs> just see if I see anything too. How would I go about using my ultra hearing? Um, is there a rule for that? Uh, it's I think it's on the perks. Uh, I think there's just a. Is it just um? Is there like a a rank in it, or is it just kind of something? Um, Let me see ultra. Wait, super is sense. it uh, super senses? Yeah. yeah. Just uh, just make a, a roll there of the the three. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> you, uh, you notice, uh, you're, you can, um, or I'll start with the green ghost with the one there. Uh, nothing in particular aside from what you saw earlier. You do see some big, like, straight marks in the ground. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy that you haven't seen before in your many adventures as a, uh, superhero. But, um, nothing sticking out, really. You can tell, as I said, like, there's the scrapes that you assume is Slashinga. And then there's the uh, gold that you could assume is. And uh, your super senses, the you can uh, you can hear a couple of guys standing right in front of the main door, uh, just kind of like chatting. It sounds kind of like uh, from what you can hear, it's like two guys going like, "I don't I don't know about this. This seems like a seems like a big deal for us to be." break it into a superhero's place. I mean, like, I mean, what's this guy paying us anyway? I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. This is, this is not good. They sound just very worried. It's kind of casual minion talk is what you can kind of get out of that. They're like right behind the main <laughs> what, door. <laughs> what, what do your elf hears here, Fundashop? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go over to the, the, um, the green ghost and I'm going to say, um, oh, uh, looks like we got some friends behind that door. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back, guys. I have to use the bathroom. Yeah. All right, no problem. Let's, yeah, let's, I'm, talk, I'm basically let's just, talk about how we're going to approach the situation. Who, like, the, the person who uh, is boastful and stuff, I'm just going to like nudge that person over that way. It's just like, uh, let's see what you can do, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm probably just going to, I guess, I don't know, walk up there. Go invisible, go through the wall. Shoot him, maybe? <laughs> we'll wait, see. wait, I have an idea. Um, Man, I have a... can give you um, both a, uh, you know, a parabolic microphone as well as a small camera. Uh, would it be possible for uh, the Green Ghost to uh, carry those over with him? Uh, let, I can I can make other things intangible, and I can make other things invisible too. So the idea is that Deal Machina is going to uh, have him take these things and then set them up in a place within the room that can get good coverage of as much as possible, and then using that back, he's going to coordinate his minions to go in first. I I'm gonna have um, Dazzler and just watch them at this. <laughs> Yeah, all right, that works. Yeah, it, 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 my, my attitude is probably going to be like, okay, found a problem, you guys go play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I walk up to Dazzler and uh, I go, have you got any uh, ideas for distracting these two guys? Um, I can do like a rave mode. <laughs> yeah, that, that's sort of what I was thinking. Dazzle them away with my splendor. <laughs> 
Oh, Dio I... Machina and his duplicate preemptively uh, polarize their <laughs> their face plates. <laughs> Alright. I, I am I, I can do a rule that can help you actually. Um on the charm I, I also took the ventriloquism. So I can like project my voice um in the other direction from the door and make them look over there somewhere. Okay. Oh uh, I can do that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I can do um holograms. So we could combine the two and Excellent. So my part works. <laughs> Give us a hologram. All right. and let's, let's, yeah. Yeah. Works cool. Let's. I, I think. I think that's what we should do. Distract those guys with a hologram plus voice throw. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I'm here. By the way. Oh hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, hey. so um, you uh, you guys uh, go up to let's see. Let me grab my little drawing tool again. Uh, whoa, that's the wrong one. Um. <laughs> And like right up here, just kind of the front of the entrance there. Um, and uh, if you'd like to do your plan, you, do you guys want to just like open up the door and start doing that stuff, or do you want to no, <laughs> like um, kind of do it behind the door? Or? Yeah, we can do okay. it behind the door because uh, uh, this guy has I, a phasing thing planned. Yeah, I, I I ask I ask uh, Dazzler and Thundershock if their um, if their abilities can go through walls. Like it sound, yes, I can, like, through, I, I, I can send my things through walls. <laughs> okay, uh, I, you know, uh, how about you, Dazzler? Can you, uh, can you push through walls? Yeah, holograms don't have any physical restraint. Yeah. All right, so I, uh, I once again go invisible and intangible. I poke my head through. Uh, to see where the two dudes are, and... just standing like right in front of the uh, the doorway, like um, both of them kind of have like their guns pointed towards like whoever would walk in. Okay, uh, yeah. So uh, I say, uh, just put it a couple of meters in front of the door, just so they look away. I think. Don't don't. Uh, uh, realizing what I'm doing and like that I'm sort of like given directions I say uh, Dio uh, what's your opinion what should we do I figure that even if you buy a single moment my minions can probably rush them so it's all right. and if you we can manage that then there may be a chance that just through weight of numbers we could incapacitate them and still have the uh, the advantage of uh, surprise Right. Thunderstruck uh, is going to grin and he's going to say, um, if you're going to do that, you should probably probably make sure the door is not locked first. They wouldn't be guarding it if it was locked. They might. Uh, anyway, uh, you you heard the giant mechanical man, let's do this. Uh. Oh, so, uh, Dazzler, uh, Thunderstruck, do you guys want to roll your uh, respective powers on this? Alright, so I, uh, I also have to roll for the uh, minions. Uh, uh, one second. Who uh, who is talking there? Oh, uh, would I have to? Would Dio Machina have to uh, roll for his uh, minions? Uh, we'll handle the minions afterwards. We're gonna take care of the distraction first. Yeah. Once the minions come into the play, then we'll take care of that. Yeah. Dazzler and uh, Thundershot. Right, so mine was the uh, the two successes for the charm. I'm using ventriloquism on the charm. So, um, hear them going like, uh, yeah, they 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 seem to be like they're they're not quite uh, paying attention now. Uh, it's hard to tell though. They just kind of seem like they're. You know, like swearing and kind of sounding confused, but it's you know you can't see them, so it's. <laughs> uh, Deal Machina is just going to swear under his breath and uh, go like, oh, "Screw this!" Flashbang. He uh, peeks out of the uh, corner of the door and just like lobs a flashbang in their uh, general direction, and then uh, after it goes off, then he'll send in the minions. Uh. 
when you go when you open the uh, the doorway, you do see that they are distracted by the light already. They are. Uh, uh, <laughs> the unlocking is not gonna <laughs> pay too much attention to that because uh, I really am not going to take any chances here. <laughs> Uh, so, um, so how many minions did you have there? Was it all eight go rushing in? Yeah, all eight are going to go in and just try and restrain them and just, you know, knock them out if uh, possible, but just generally try and keep them down. Uh, so I mean, just, a, just a small, just a small question. How does, uh, sort of turn order work in this? Uh, minions move absolutely last, but uh, the person with the highest edge score moves first. If you tie for edge score, then you move at the same time. If a hero and a villain tie for edge score, then the hero goes first, then the villain. Um, what is that's edge? how. Uh, edge is, uh, it's it's perception a... plus willpower plus uh, athletics, I think. Okay. Yeah. So I just have completely regular that. Cool. <laughs> oh, it might have to be 12 then. Little roll thingy there. Let me check to see if I actually put it in. I might not have. There's always a good chance. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, it's been pretty. pretty <laughs> uh, um, did you uh, just roll the 8 to 8d6 for me? Uh, uh, sure. Oh, hey, that's a pretty good result. Oh, we got, uh, what is it? Okay. So, um, you guys come in fairly easily and just knock out the, the two guys just standing there. They look pretty well, like, dudes that didn't seem to know what was going on anyway. <laughs> like, they're just, like, totally out of it. And then, like, you just hear one of them go, like, like what the hell? And then just totally just wiped out. The two guys are just out on the floor now. <laughs> well done. Confused. Um, what happened with the, the hologram distraction thing? I think I might have... Distracted by it. Like, they were kind of, like, confused yeah. by it, it and everything. It, it worked. It worked. We, we, we did our thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you know, you, yeah, they seemed to be very confused by the whole situation. And then uh, uh, the minions came in while they were kind of just... Uh, I was going to say dazzled by it. <laughs> they, were, <laughs> they, they, they were certainly dazzled by the situation. Uh, yeah. Uh, when you guys look in, it looks like a typical kind of uh, mansion. Uh, not not too indifferent from the one that you were previously in. Um, it seems like uh, all scuffle here, but whatever happened seemed to, to end here. Oh, so there's no, there's no bodies, but like there's no fights past this room. Yeah, it seems like whatever whatever happened, uh, did here, and they must have dragged them somewhere else. I hope to, I hope she think she God, I can't say it. <laughs> I hope slash slashing is okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said I hope. It's your quest to figure out. Where brought I, out Slashinga? No. <laughs> I can't. That word is impossible to say. Why did you say they were called Slashinga? Right. Uh, yeah, it's I, the I, worst name. I, I walk through. I walk through the door. Now it's not. You know, there's no one in there. Yeah. Is there anything that stands out? Can you? Is there anything that stands out? Yeah. You go first. <laughs> what? Yeah. Go ahead, Uni. What? Uh, what are you saying? Oh, if there's anything that stands out, like, that I could take his ear or something. Uh, <laughs> take his ear? I'd say, uh, just, uh, roll a perception for me. <laughs> you do notice, like, a kind of, like, um, peculiar in that, um, wherever the, the fight ended, there, there appears to be, like, a, like, a Pretty obvious trail going up the uh, the left path of the stairways. Uh, so you could, uh, I'd say, like you you could assume that that is where at least one of them was dragged off to. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ask Dale if um if this place has security cameras that you can tap into. Yeah, that would definitely be something uh, Dio would uh, probably try and figure out as well. Like, is there any sort of uh, is there any sort of interface, any consoles? Yeah, um, if you want to try to hack it, there's like a small computer over there. If you want to try to hack into it, uh, you can check to see if there's anything. Yeah, uh, Dio's duplicate is going to go again uh, hacking into it. Give me a technology roll. Uh, Roger. Uh, nope. uh, you you hack in quite easily. Uh, you're able to get through the main security systems and stuff. Um, you see that there is security cameras, uh, and they, but they only captured up to a certain point, and then they blinked out. Uh, would it be possible for Dio to see what happened to the files? Like, did the cameras abruptly shut off as if there was a power failure? Were they turned off, or was there some there sort, was of sort of? Data? Yeah, it seems like there's some sort of EMP that hit or something like that. They just went they went off. Uh, but before that, you do get a uh, a shot of some people. You see uh, Slishingo and uh, yeah. Midas. <laughs> <laughs> See Sashingo and Midas uh, kind of like uh, in really bad shape. Uh, Sashingo's carrying Midas into uh, the, the main room here. And um, you see, uh, say, uh, it's hard to tell how big he is, but he sees almost as big as uh, Sashinga. And he's uh, wearing like a kind of prickly looking uh, black uh, that covers the majority of his body. And uh, he's kind of like toying around with some sort of object, and uh, he's he's very casually, arrogantly following them. <clears throat> and a uh, another guy, like with seemingly like super speed, like goes up right behind and like trips Slushinga and makes him fall over, holding Midas, you know. So they're both on the ground now, and uh, mm -hmm. another guy comes right behind them. It uh, seems to be a uh, like kind of scraggly-looking individual with a, uh, a striped suit, downward striped, and he he doesn't seem to do much. He just sort of saunters in, and you also see Voltside behind them. Then, uh, as soon as that happens, Voltside kind of does something with his hand, and everything shuts off. Hmm. Either I'm going to try and cross-reference what I know, or at least create a kind of um, summary of what I was able to observe for later um, uh, reference. I, I'm definitely I, going to create a log for later uh, reference, but for reference, do I pick up anything from the database that I have access to? Like, is there any sort of like ping aside from... Thunderside, like is there... you have to, you have to do another technology roll on this one, because uh, you're kind of like researching in now for like basic similarities. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Anyone else uh, looking at this footage? If anyone else wants to make any rolls uh, based on anything that they might know, uh, but I'll just give uh, what John notices here. Uh, the only thing you can see in the database really is um, the super speed person fits the description of a uh a teen uh villain who used to be part of like a kind of like foe of a sidekick group his name is uh bottle rocket hmm. to be the closest physical description to somebody and uh the only other thing that's popping up is that large uh guy in the black suit uh, seems to have some sort of profile, but it's uh, it it doesn't have much on it. It just they have a picture of someone that looks very similar, and it just has question marks next to it. Uh, I I I I walk up to Dio, and uh, I sort of walking backwards. I look at Thunderstruck, and uh, and does when I go. Okay, so law of drama dictates that the one the suit is definitely the most dangerous one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say. Um, me yeah, I'll, I'll be like looking at my iPhone and I'll be like, um. So, does anyone have any favorites for our funeral soundtrack? Oh, for the love of listen, 
First, it's going to be Boulder Boy that gets knocked out. Then, the provided that we can subdue them in time, we don't have to worry. Uh, speaking of which, uh, you guys don't know where Boulder Boy is. <laughs> where's Boulder Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, God damn it! And this is Dio, by the way. Now he's actually cursing. God fucking damn it! Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start uh, invisible, intangible. Start sort of flying around the base, uh, going back where we came, looking for him. Uh, can I get a recording of what my uh, minion, if any of them picked up uh, Boulder Boy in their vision? Uh, while you guys were like looking around, Boulder Boy just kind of. Uh, like, you literally just see him, like, walk up the stairs for the dragging marks when I, like, while well, you guys were just kind of casually looking away, okay, he just kind of walked up there. <laughs> seems super yeah. suspicious. He just seemed like he just kind of walked away from you guys, like an <laughs> asshole. Uh, I go, you're gonna follow a fearless leader, and I fly towards him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, you're flying towards, uh, anyone else want to yeah. do anything particularly? I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, go Duplicate Dio and all of the minions, while uh, the original stays behind and just continues to look through the uh, database. Not for anything specific, just starts uh, looking through it. And, uh... Uh, I think I'll follow... Um, who was it that flew behind? A green ghost. Uh, it was me, I, I just flew behind. Him. Okay, yeah, I, I follow him. I'm gonna start. All right. I, I wanna see if anything fun happens. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, um, uh, you can search back online onto the internet to see if any crazy tinfoil hat guys have anything to say about these dudes? Don't go uh, on the conspiracy Reddit. Don't do it. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can always post it on the conspiracy superhero Reddit. <laughs> Our you superhero on, masks. You go top. You go top post of all time, and like six of them are about me. So like, just don't go on there. <laughs> like, I don't believe anything. <laughs> is 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 Green Ghost actually dead? Uh, it's like. A, a, a big post on there. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I actually do some um, investigation, like not even just through like traditional like public um, uh, forums or anything, but you know, like uh, some actual dedicated uh, investigation into the sightings of the one in the uh, black uh, kind of spiky armor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. Um... Technology roll for me. All right. All right. Uh, you find something really weird. Uh, you go onto like a, a deep web uh, kind of. I wouldn't say this one's less of a conspiracy site. This one's more of a hard research kind of situation. Uh, that's categorizing supervillains. It looks like it, it's very um, on. Like, it's, it's not very professional looking, but it seems to be very thorough. Um, so there kind of like a, a vigilante, uh, kind of a vigilante uh, collaboration site. Exactly, it is like a one hundred percent a vigilante kind of like. Sports, it seems like you see prices and stuff, um, and this guy, uh, he's cool. you see these really strange, uh, like, oh, like seems like painted in blood uh, things uh, saying the Leviathan, and uh, it's. It, he seems he's like related to a bunch of superhero deaths, uh, particularly uh, heroes, and then a couple of uh, A-listers who uh, quote unquote like went missing. And uh, he he the, they don't seem to know much. They seem they say that he does have some form of a super strength. But, uh, it's not, not known much more than that. And some of the people that he's taken down are pretty scary to have somebody who could have taken them down. And uh, it doesn't seem to know anything much else about his, uh, like, there is, like, a couple of strange, like, it seems like ritualistic sites with his name uh, attached to when he's uh, finished with a place. But you notice that, uh, and this guy, the, the, the website owner makes note that the police seem to uh, make this information known, which is strange. 
or maybe it's the superhero community. He seems he kind of like questions both. He's like, is it the superhero community? Is it the police? Is there a dirty cop? Is there a dirty uh, you know superhero? Like, what's going on here? Dio Machina relays this to his duplicate, but otherwise remains quiet for the. So, uh, back to the other guys here. Uh, Green Ghost, uh, as you're falling upstairs, uh, you hear a bunch of crashing, and uh, you see your uh, intrepid leader uh, come flying through the door in front of you, uh, landing on his back. And uh, he looks very upset. <laughs> I'm going to look at him and see. Oh, All right. Need it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, it's your turn. I'm pissed. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <laughs> in uh, in front of you, you guys see Vault Sai. Random henchmen uh, to him. <laughs> oh, I I I look at him and go. So we meet again. I suppose you're ready for that rematch. <laughs> <laughs> so I did fight him. Okay. You said I fought him. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, and I am famous. And you said he was famous. famous he would remember. He's got to remember. <laughs> well, to be fair, your predecessor was famous. I mean, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, uh, the Green Ghost <laughs> is famous. Yeah, the Green Ghost is very famous. And I am the Green Ghost. <laughs> so, um, does everyone know their uh, their uh, edge scores? Uh, minus, uh, minus 16, I believe. I think mine's just 6, because it's... <laughs> I don't have any good stuff. <laughs> well, no, isn't that isn't that just average six, right? Because it's your twos. Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm just six. Yeah. Minus fourteen. It's fourteen. I am not as high as I thought I was. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, that that works for me actually. Just trying to shut the one to jump in. Hmm. It's thunder shock, not oh. thunder struck. <laughs> thunder struck. Uh, <laughs> love that song. And I do kind of uh, avoid the cameras and and stuff. By the way, I'm I'm not a, oh. I'm not into the theme stuff anymore. <laughs> I had my Lindsay Lohan piece. <laughs> here god i love my portrait so much <laughs> <laughs> just the yes. worst, wor it's just the worst thing i can find <laughs> i guess you're, yeah i guess you're not in this scenario right now adeus but uh well my duplicate is oh did he did he follow along okay yeah i sent uh, him while i remained behind i might have just missed that sorry about that no problem uh get everybody else oh my god Everybody panic! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Everybody Whoa! Frolic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did Dazzler become 28 in... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I beefed him up a little. It's the same thing, man. You know, I they, took a it's like Dazzler and um, Green Ghost are falling all over each other to be the first one in. And Thundershock is just at the back. It's like, um, okay, guys, way nice now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to envision that uh, Dio is the only one seriously, and considering what his uh, original told him, he instantly, uh, you know, like takes a moment to take stock of the situation while the minions kind of uh, move past him and slowly begin to fan out. And of course, oops, if I can spell right now. Word, there we go. So, just go based on the, let's see, so it's going to be first, and him, and then hero goes first. Alrighty, and then obviously I have minions. Terrible stats. I put everything into powers and vehicles. <laughs> I tried to spread mine it's out, fine. so I have a lot of things, 
but they're not very high. So I might <laughs> miss, yeah, I might have a lot of failures on this thing. <laughs> I, I just have like stupidly good powers, like phasing, invisibility, flight, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, um, first person up is, uh, Dave, uh, is there anything you would like to, uh, do first? You said you had your minions fan out, kind of, situation? Yeah. so, basically, the first thing I'm going to do is that, um, Dio knows that, um, uh, Voltaside is basically electricity and some super strength. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so if that being the case, then I am going to... Oh, is it possible to cover my... Uh, in a uh, in a non-insulating uh, material? Uh, like co uh, cover yourself in one? Yeah, using my uh, Constructs ability. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say, yeah. Uh, if you'd like to do that your turn, just kind of like get something so that it would kind of give you like a slight and... deflection on his... I'm going to take the negative 2d penalty for uh, also using athletics to try and uh, just kind of rush Voltaside to, you know, test him, basically try and get a hit on him. Okay. Right, so with a negative 2 construct so I can get the insulating material. Oof, all successes on that toughness. So it's not gonna yeah, you, uh, but yeah. Run right at him, and uh, he just uh, kind of just knocks you right to the ground with his like just very, very big muscular body. Uh, you can tell he's kind of got like a, like a shock around him to some regard, and he seems like uh, he seems like a new man almost. Like he looks beefier than the the normal pictures that you've seen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, at least I mitigated whatever. Uh -huh. can... oh, um. I try to shoot him with like this shimmering, blinding light, like a blast. And while I'm doing it, I yell, "Walk into the light, motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, roll your roll your blast. <laughs> yeah oh wow <laughs> so he Jeez. tries to kind of like uh like do like a shock at your light and it just totally like fizzles out pounds right through and just hit him right in the right in the face uh, knocking him back uh is there anything uh you'd like to do you you got like an overwhelming success on him uh any <laughs> you can kind of describe what happens when he gets blasted if you'd want don't, like, um, say something happens that could kind of hinder him in some way. Yeah, a special effect, essentially. A special Blinded. effect. Blinded. Yeah, could so I do like that? He gets knocked prone or something like that, or gets knocked, like, back or something, you know? Yeah, could it in affect his uh, vision, or, or is that more dazzle? I, I'd say, I mean, you got him really goddamn good there. Like, <laughs> he, Yeah, like, he's... he's I'd say, yeah, like, you hit him right in the face, and he, he looks, okay, like, so, uh, at least stunned. So he's like a fish when you take a picture with a flash on. <laughs> yeah, so, like, say, like, you blasted him in the face so hard, he's kind of, like, he seems to be, like, dazzled and stunned, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically a point-blank uh, flashbang right to the face. Yeah, he's, he, along with, like, a big, like, a big old fist right in there, too. <laughs> like, yeah. He did not like that one bit. <laughs> Next is uh, Thundershock. Um, I am going to... Thunderstruck. <laughs> At some point, Sorry, I'm going to give up and change the name. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going. Um, minions. Yeah, I'm going to um, do... Uh... Crap, what is it? Not... not, not... Yes, uh, stun... Let's yeah, see. I'm going to um, I'm going to on the minions. I'm I want to do this. So okay. it's like it's like blowing a dog whistle at dogs, basically. Success. Uh, what's the what's the rule on that anyway? 
Let me check real quick here. That, oh my god. This doesn't want to work. Here, guys. If I can get the exact kind of... All right, take a sec here. Yeah. Come on, PDF, go a little quicker. All right, there we go. <laughs> you have the confusion one. Okay, so uh, you get a plus two bonus zero and a Firstly, like use your targets as long as in fact. Each page determine. Okay, so we, yeah, the minion doesn't really have a willpower in this situation, so uh, we'll just say it's successful. <laughs> yeah. So they. Uh, um, you just going for one of the guys, I assume. Yeah, it's it's like um, it's a it's some shell high frequency sound that you know just like gets in their brain. It's like oh god, make yeah. it stop that kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, they, they they totally seem to be like like shooting up in the air and stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's uh, uh, just, Volt just, Side's turn. Yeah. Just oh, a sorry. question. Just a question, Felita. Um, is there a sprinkler system in this room? Uh, I would say there's probably a sprinkler system. Yeah. So I'm gonna just. I, I, I'm. I would have been at the box. I'd probably like uh, just be hanging out near the the, the fire pull switch thing. Okay. So, uh, it is Volt Side's turn, and uh, don't hurt me, Volt Side. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Volt Side's going to. Uh, he's going to give uh, you a uh, John. He's going to give you kind of like a bit of like a kick to the ribs. All right. Um, I'm Your going duplicate. to. <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to roll athletics to basically try and dodge out of the way, <laughs> evade it. All right, you easily dodge out of the way. Is there anything you'd like to kind of specify on uh, how you dodged him? Uh, basically, I'm going to uh, pop off of my uh, hands and do a flip to land behind his back. Piggyback right. ride. Now the uh, green ghost turn. Oh, I'm very slow to react. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna nice and simple throw an en uh, throw an energy blast at him. It's a uh, sort of a blast of like ectoplasm, almost like grey with little green splot splodges in it, and I, I fire. That's it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and also just to just to say my it's an energy blast and it can cut through any physical object so it has the same sort of phasing ability that i do so it's just going to go straight through him and hurt him do i have to use anything particular to block that or is it uh just kind of whatever uh it force fields can block it yes but okay uh with something use. okay so like would his might be something he can use or is that kind of out of the question uh, it, it, goes for, it goes for any physical objects. You can't, so basically, you can't... toughness is the only thing that would allow him weather yeah, to weather the blast. Like, yeah, uh, it's pretty much. Unless he has a force field in there. Uh, a penetrating one, so it looks like it would just go right through his oh, wait, toughness. No. Yeah, passive defense, like armor and toughness of yo use against... <laughs> oh, That's, uh, I guess he's going to have to try one of his other things. Wait, it goes through? <laughs> yep, it goes through armor and toughness. I've, Can I've got, I use my um, my uh, robot minion's uh, vision of the situation to uh, dodge out of the way? Because <laughs> if it oh, passes... no, you wouldn't have any. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, don't don't worry about that. I, I wouldn't. Ask you. <laughs> like, did I just dodge into my own ally's attack? <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, you, uh, uh, so you... it does have it does have times two. That is what? Sorry. But uh, yeah. Uh, the ability does have a uh, times two. 
is the trait times two cost. Okay, so uh, it, that's just the cost of the item, though, it looks like. Oh, yeah. cool, cool. I, I forgot what that was. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you uh, you hit him hard, and uh, he... Uh, is there anything you want to specify? He uh, he gets he gets blasted pretty darn good. He's not looking too great. Uh, even for his new beefy self, he's looking pretty uh, pretty rough. <laughs> uh, uh, anything I want to specify? Uh, maybe just the... It... it Dazes him maybe a little, just the fact it goes through him, it's a bit creepy. It's like, yeah, it's it's like a, it's like it messes up his insides a bit. <laughs> now now he's got like two penalties going on. <laughs> <laughs> Double the penalties. Uh, hey, you, get, you, you said this guy was like a D-lister. He's... <laughs> no, no, no. This, no, this is what happens when you have four superheroes kick the shit out of a guy. Yeah. <laughs> like he's buffed up at the moment. Like even buffed up, and it's just like, ha ha! I'm in my newest form now. It's just like, nope. It's just, just, the just get decked in the face by a robot. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's back up to uh, Deu. Uh, uh, actually, because... my minions. Uh, can I roll for my minions real yep. quick? Basically, I want to have all my minions converge onto uh, Voltaside, and uh, well. Let's see how the attack goes, at least. Because they are going to go for the attack. Uh, so, D6. Uh, nope. Uh, Voltaside still overmatches the minions. Okay. Uh, by how much? Just uh, one or something? Uh, by two. Okay, so uh, they're just kind of like, I assume they're just kind of, not dogpiling, but they're all kind of coming at him. Yeah, they're all coming at him. Uh, they, they just kind of like, they're, they're trying to like peck at him, but he seems to be either like so annoyed with getting ectoplasmed in the face, or he's uh, kind of able to take the blows. You can't really tell. He looks annoyed either way. Yeah, Dio Machina, um... Still a bit dazed from that uh, initial kind of a uh, hit that kind of knocked him to the ground, so he can't really uh, make a smarter move at the moment. Uh, yeah, so it's, it is uh, your turn, though? Yeah, so now what he's going to do is something that, well, Dio knows that this is probably not him normally, so he's, well, he's obviously beefed up, Obviously, a more of a threat, and from what his, from what Dio's original uh, was able to tell his uh, duplicate, he's feeling like he has to finish this as quickly as possible. So he's going to take out energy sword, and he's going to strike at uh, Voltaside to try and not put him down as in kill, but like put him down as in like finally incapacitate him. Hello. Uh, so rolling for athletics and the energy, uh, energy sword is penetrating. Um, on that one? Uh, what? Your toughness on that one then, or is it? Uh, I think it really might just be toughness. Like, penetrating, I think, goes through... Wait, I think penetrating goes through all passive yeah. defense. Yeah, well, so that's that's uh, toughness as well. Yeah. Have we accidentally min maxed? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> the penetrating ability is quite good. Uh, yeah, so I, I was um, just trying to make a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, uh, you, uh, you 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 slice down right at him, and uh, he he goes right to the ground, and. Um, Looking too too good. Um, one thing though, uh, when he goes to the ground, uh, from that that because you're actually your attack sliced into his skin. Yeah. Um, it seems as though like a small amount of that wound is starting to heal. Like get off the bat. That's new. Like, All right. Uh, I'll just relay this information, like, again, the original is still hooked to the same uh, grid that the duplicate and the robots are connected to, so the original's uh, 
also getting all this information. He's just Good. downstairs by himself, like, no, I'm, I'm not getting into that drama. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything you, uh, you want to do, or are you just kind of, like, hanging back? Uh, basically, the original during all this time is going to try and learn as much as he pos uh, possibly can about all of the new information that uh, uh, he's getting from these uh, this fight. So basically, anything that may allude to why uh, D. Lister suddenly got a power boost and then why suddenly he's able to uh, heal very quickly. Like, is there any sort of uh, connection uh, between um, him and the Black Harbor? I was Harbor? actually talking to Dazzler, but uh, yeah... I can have you take a look at that in uh, in a minute. All right. Yeah. So does. Um. So he's on the ground. He's like not attacking. Healing. He's still definitely hostile, though. Okay. Um. I make like several holograms of myself, and then I go like the. Real me goes behind him and tries to blast him from behind. Uh, so let's see. Let's uh, let's do uh, do like a um, uh, the image roll first. Okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, you easily can kind of trick him to get behind him. All right. So you want to hit him with the blast now? Mm-hmm. Hey, hit him with the blast. Ooh. Well, still not bad. Let's see here. Let's, oh, if I can hit a button. Just one second. Whoa. Damn. Oh, uh, yeah, he got lucky. Um, I gotta give a minus on that, but still, it'd be fine. He, uh... Yeah, uh, he seems to be like as you blast behind him. He seems he's confused by you though, completely. Like he has no idea where you are. And uh, when you blast behind him, he just he kind of like turns his head back. He's not like looking at you, but he's like you know like God damn it! You can kind of hear the muffling of of his voice under his mask. You know, he usually doesn't talk. He's a, he's a super silent person, uh, but you can tell he's he's definitely feeling in over his head though, <laughs> and very annoyed. <laughs> Oh, uh, Thundershock. All right. Um, well, everyone's kind of uh, all over the place. So uh, hopefully, hang in there, guys. So, <laughs> 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 uh, I'm going to power slide to uh, just be a little bit off of the floor. And I'm going to pull okay. that little sprinkler lever to turn off the, um, the fire sprinklers. I want to short circuit him. <laughs> um yeah you uh you pull the uh the f the alarm quite easily um uh everybody next to Voltaside do an athletics roll for me <laughs> uh sorry, guys. I, he has to worry about it because isn't he um he covered himself in a non-insulating material i get blasted back like material. there's gonna be like a physical oh. force to it yeah that makes sense Okay, so uh, yeah, you um, like you can you juke back a little bit, uh, and uh, you don't seem to you you get bounced back, but you don't seem to be hurt at all. Uh, Deus, you very easily can kind of like flip yourself backwards right out of the way, uh, but Voltaside seems to explode to some <laughs> regard. <laughs> this is the best way to put it. <laughs> uh, and uh, both of his minions are now totally unconscious. And uh, he's now standing there. Uh, his like the the top part of his jumpsuit is like blown off, and uh, his mask is all like cracked in half, and uh, his eyes are like kind of like bugged out. <laughs> he's, he's it seems like his shock is gone now, yeah. and uh, he's uh, he's kind of like God damn you, <laughs> and he uh, he falls forward, and uh, he seems to be out cold. Thundershock uh, isn't, the, um, Thunder isn't the, the, the as much of a technical type as Dio is, but he has a lot of street smarts. 
<laughs> I know how to blow up supervillains, okay? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, one of the robot minions seems to have broken out of the uh, combat protocol. Just walks over towards uh, Volta's side and begins poking him. I also Thanks, join the robot in poking Volta. <laughs> You know, like when you you know you like out. poke something with like with some like kind of like uh, one of those little orbs that like shocks your fingers. You know, uh, it's <laughs> yeah. kind of like that. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> he he seems to be conscious too. I want everyone to know that, but he, he seems to be unable to move completely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, and he's looking at you, Green Ghost, and he's looking very upset with you. <laughs> I uh, I look at the team and says, "All right, we uh we got to keep moving, Schlesik." Uh, in, in, listen, Canada. Slashing, slashing, slashing. Might be in trouble. We gotta go save him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love like, how um, in character you can't pronounce it either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna play like the victory song from uh, the, the victory music from like Final Fantasy or, or, or um, something. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, da, 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 da. yeah. <laughs> Your first D rank villain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, with that power up, he was at least. A... I should let you know he was more like a, like a C plus B at that point. Yeah, he was like Ooh, I nice. could say like a, like a solid a solid C, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, is, is there any I, indication um... of where the other guys are? The other three, I think, or four, I forget. It looks like uh, Voltaside was just in front of a door. That uh, that might be where they were going. Uh, the same marks of the blood are uh, dragging past the door that he is in front of. And what were you going to say, Uni? Do we have like phones or anything? Uh, uh, like have phones and tech devices and wrist things and all that. Okay, can I try taking a selfie with Voltron? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Can I have uh, two of the robots also quickly try and uh, uh, photobomb the selfie by kind of like sticking their heads in behind uh, Dazzler? Yeah, I do. Cool. Like, I take the picture with putting my putting my uh, elbow on his face and like uh, leaning my head on my on my hand. Like, <laughs> now I gotta ask, uh, what are the uh, what are the hashtags of the Instagram post? <laughs> <laughs> Um, totally hashtag B plus. Hero <laughs> <laughs> <Girl> now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hashtag hero V zero. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, do no, my. Uh, I'm go Sorry, I was, I'm, just, I'm, uh, I'm just. I'm gonna do my standard thing and poke my head in the uh, in the next room. Invisible and intangible, just to see what's going on in there. Okay, uh, before you do that, I just want to let uh, Dazzler know that uh, as soon as you post it, you start getting likes and uh, stuff. Ooh. Just so, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, wait, uh, real quick. Um, the original Dio, uh, he was investigating. Uh, the original Dio is investigating the uh, circumstances that would allow Voltaside to. You know, do what he does and is looking for any sort of link or relation or any reference really to explain this, uh, you know, power up. So, what you can see online, uh, or, you know, from the research and such, is that um, Voltaside has always had like some sort of small healing abilities. It's, it's but nothing, it's obviously not magnified. Yeah, it's never been something so much so that he can do it like so quickly. Uh, from what, just looking at him right now, he's he's at least like four inches taller. Uh, he's a little bit beefier, but uh, when you look at the records as you're kind of going through, uh, he's in his kind of like late twenties. You can mm. see that he's kind of done this throughout his career. Like he's gotten like much bigger. Uh, it started about like six years ago. He has just kind of, kind of, just gotten taller and taller and beefier and beefier, as though well, someone's, been, you know, juicing. been like, <laughs> is, it, is it hitting the juice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just kind of see this is like a normal progression for him. Uh, the the means of which are unknown, but uh, 
seems like uh, at some point six years ago, he must have either met somebody that's supplying him with something or he's gotten his hands on some sort of new ability or something like that. But it, you can't really see what, you know. All right. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Ringo. Ringo. Continue. Continue. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, you, you were peeking your head in, right? Oh, yeah, right. Yes. Cool. Peek your head through. Um, you actually, uh, you get a glimpse at one of the guys that was in the uh, the camera there. Oh, and uh, a scraggly haired guy in the striped suit. And he like, uh, he turns over and he weirdly looks like he can see you. It's kind of freaking you out. His eyes look very dead. Like he's like some sort of, and with your knowledge of things not quite alive, he looks like someone that has kind of like weird ghosty eyes or something like that. Oh. Or pulled an all-nighter. He's very pale college. too. Oh, sorry. Or pulled an all-nighter in college. <laughs> <laughs> My I'm, I'm actually. Are... <laughs> I'm actually. I'm. I'm not gonna to gonna go back in with the rest of. You. I'm gonna phase my whole body through the door and just sort of stand there invisible and just look at him. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's he's kind of looking at you. His hands are in his pockets. Uh, he kind of like... Um, it seems like he's looking at you, but he might just be looking in the direction that oh. you are standing, you know? Like he's okay. waiting for somebody, maybe. But it's, it's really hard to tell at the moment. Okay. He's just kind of... Uh, I flip him the bird and fly back. <laughs> he seems unfaced. Okay, so I, I, I fly back to the other guys and uh, go up to the to the three of them and sort of like huddle and whisper. All right, there's a uh, there's the guy in the pinstripe suit over there. He seems to be. I know he's got these weird dead eyes. I don't. I don't, I, I shrug. Any ideas on what we should do? Well, I know what I am. I'm going to have to up the uh, the rating of my uh, minions real quick. Um, basically, all I'm going to do, um, uh, I guess, kind of like some bladed uh, uh, wrist gauntlets onto them, so that way they can be considered minions rather than uh, unarmed minions. Uh, we'll uh, we'll just rank it up to uh, like. I, I considered them armed when I kind of gave a number, but we'll break it up to uh, 10 then, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Guys, uh, yeah, start to hear like a weird, like, warpy noise from behind the door now, by the way. Oh, I'm going to face back in. <laughs> <laughs> Dio suddenly has a realization. Wait, yeah, we never asked a green ghost what he saw. Oh. Uh, I are you I facing? Said, I said. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you facing all the way through, or uh, I, uh, is it okay? I'm just going to say now: is there a system in this where you can gain the resolve point by doing stuff bad on purpose? Because I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. A, if you if you play to a floor, you get resolve. All right, cool. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to forget to go invisible. I'm just going to face through. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, as you do that, uh, you see that the the the, uh, the guy is uh, still standing there. Uh, you see like a like a black portal behind him. He he now like you could tell he is looking right at you. Yourself. Oh, so he could see me. All right, damn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? <laughs> yes. yes, I said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, uh, uh never mind, s evil doer. <laughs> what is your name? It's not important. You should leave now before this gets messy. Uh, I'm used to mess. I've been cleaning up these streets since before you were born. <laughs> Can I can I have Long Dio just time. stay into his uh, communicator real quick uh, to communicate to the Green Ghost? Before you went through, you didn't turn um, transparent. Your oh, uh, don't don't worry, my friend. I figured that out. 
<laughs> I'm also scared if I stop looking at this man, I might die. <laughs> his his leer is very uh rising, and you kinda haven't noticed that he has walked like at least ten feet closer to you. Uh I'm and he seems I'm, to... <laughs> I'm staying still. I'm keeping my uh While this my... is happening, Dio is on the uh door controls just um yeah. you know, ready to you know throw the doors open. Uh, I, uh, as the guy gets closer, I sort of whisper into my communicator, Any second now, guys. <laughs> Please. Before, before anything and happens I, here, uh, do you, uh, Green Ghost, uh, I assume when you, in your normal tangible state, or not, uh, sorry, in your normal uh, visible state, cast a shadow mm -hmm. by any chance, I assume? Oh. That's... That's a good question. I'm not tangible right now, so I guess I question, don't. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess light would go. Light would go through me, so I don't cast a shadow. I guess. Uh, you guess, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, could, it, uh, it'd be like a hologram, really. You know. Yeah, like, it'd be like a hologram. Holograms don't cast shadows. Sure, because I mean, <laughs> it's a, it's kind of a strange it's, thing. It's to... I have a shadow power <laughs> by any chance. Uh, uh, anyway, no, yeah. no, no. You just kind of you kind of see like darkness coming out of the portal behind him, though. Okay. Oh, I, uh, God. oh dear. I say, what? What is that? And then I whisper into my communicator, guys, come in. Rio <laughs> <laughs> Marquino is suddenly uh, reminiscing. I wonder what would happen if I waited five more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I look at Pinstripe Suit Man and says, at least have the courtesy of telling me your name. <laughs> You're really not gonna. What's the point in telling the name to a dead man? I mean, yes, I am. I am a dead man. That's how. It, that's how the powers work. Justine. Uh, I'm gonna. His hand. Uh, realizing that I pr should probably leave, I'm gonna try and phase back through the wall to to my friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you phase back through. Yeah. Oh, does he not even try to attack me? I just face back through. Oh, you just see him kind of like raising his hand like a re really weird way. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're about to swat a fly. I just. It's kind of like he's out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're about to swat a fly is kind of a perfect metaphor there. <laughs> uh, I, I I look at my uh, my free teammates and go, "He is incredibly scary. <laughs> we need to we need to deal with this now." I <laughs> super intimidating. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. even see yeah. I, di I didn't even see Raptor face. He's not in there. Wait, was he in there? You could actually gauge how dangerous he probably was if you had just agreed idea in a uh, a camera on you. You know, what with, with me having the ability to, you know, analyze the situation. But no, fine. Just keep doing your own thing. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm at the controls. So you can open the door whenever you're ready. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay. Uh, what was the last the yeah, green ghost is gonna hang back for now. Uh, so, green ghost, did you relay any information past that towards uh, anyone here? Uh, yeah, I just basically said like uh, there was a big black portal, and he raised his hand at me, and he was very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Dio Machina can do nothing with this information. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it was some sort of black swirling portal thing. In the, uh... I'm gonna tease you. I'm gonna be like, to... so you're a ghost. <laughs> Who is afraid <laughs> of darkness Dude, and high fives? Things. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, as a, as my my powers that. are a. I immediately. Uh, I, I tune <laughs> into. You're I on tune the realm. into a ghost dimension type thing. Uh, that's that's uh, I I recreated a science experiment by and I realized that I was slipped up and said, I was a scientist and I uh experimenting with uh, particles I uh accidentally sort of made myself undead and I can switch between the forms at will. So I, I can die in Can theory. I just say that uh, the original Dio Machina is at the moment uh, using the internet to look up this stuff and realizes oh god he's describing the plot to Danny Phantom. So uh, as, as that's this different. Is I'm talking more of like uh, like uh, oh shit. No, actually, it is quite a lot like Danny Phantom. Fuck. 
<laughs> damn it. That's <laughs> super right. God. <laughs> so, uh, Green Ghost, as you're, as you're kind of spitting out all this information, maybe you shouldn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Boulder Boy uh, gets up and uh, he's like, good job, team. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Yeah, no help. Yeah. Yeah. I well, I had to wear him down first, okay. You guys came in at like the end of that fight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what's going on past that door anyway, Ghost Man? Some sort actually, of actually, can you mock that in check real quick and just tell uh, Boulder Boy? Room seems to be clear. Although you being the leader, of course, maybe you should head first. Lead us. Nice. I. <laughs> I don't I, say anything. I, 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 I like try to whisper to my, my teammates, we could use him as a human shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big dumb shield. Um, yeah. Ghost man. Uh, you see anything spooky past that door? You look all nervous. Dio Machina just is very subtly shaking his head. Uh, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm very bad at lying. Uh, I, <laughs> I look at him, I go, um, uh, uh, just, uh, raptor face, terrifying, scary claws. You should go in first. He's, uh, but he's a friend, you know, so, you know, nothing to be worried about. Just, just go in. Just go in. <laughs> yeah, someone mimicking Sashingo. Apparently, uh, in there. what he described, it was apparently something illusionary. But he was spooked nonetheless. Him. Look, uh, I, I woke up to Boulder Boy and I said, as our fearless leader, you should, uh, you should, you know, take the lead. Get in there with your super durability and uh, help us out, you know? And but, I should also point out that my role in this entire thing, and I am not above using blackmail in Boulder Boy, just to let you know. Oops, sorry. So, you know, I want to lead. Prove that you're the leader. Uh, Blackmailed. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Just just saying your public image made a bit of a hit. I got nothing to lose. I'm barely renowned as is. But you, oof. I mean, oof, you know. <clears throat> Be a damn shame if... Uh, All right. Like, <laughs> can get any less, but... <laughs> You kind of like briefly like Patsy on the back. <laughs> yeah, he does uh, open the door though. Uh, when he opens it, there's nothing there. Oh shit! <laughs> Dio Machina plays this off and goes, "See, I told you. See that you're our leader. You should be leading us." I grip Funda. I, I grip Funda Shock's arm like as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Like in pure terror. <laughs> I clearly saw trust. What's got you guys all freaked out? <laughs> it seems like the ghost sees ghosts too. <laughs> Look, no, I'm not Danny Phantom. Stop insinuating this. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, here, before uh, I go no, any further, was there a ghost or not? <laughs> <laughs> there was okay. no ghost. The Awakening was just lying through his teeth. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I hang my head to say that there might have been like a, like a ghost of some kind, like a, like a ghostly figure of, uh, <laughs> robot man, look, look up, I'm gonna be there was a ghost dude by whatever you described or something. Dio Machina, it, I'm pretty sure Dio Machina, yeah, Dio Machina did see the original camp, saw the physical form of this person. Um, when they entered into the, uh, the Okay, so um, we have like a- we have something to go on. Yeah. So even off of the rough approximation, Dio can either this person shares powers similar to Green Ghost, or, you know, basically just even something similar is enough to go off of. And this so guy didn't say his on. name even? No, he, he didn't say anything. He just uh, said that he didn't want to tell a name to a dead man, which is uh, ironic considering the circumstances. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, is there, are there any ex ex exits to this room? There's the one down there, isn't there? 
thing. Oh, way. So I I just go like he could have gone down that way. <laughs> so um, actually, ghost, could you um? Let me see. The most uh, oh, clickable thing would be here. Uh. Could you actually, uh, could you roll your, um, perception twice and just add the results together? Sorry, roll my what twice? Uh, perception, wasn't it? Okay, cool. Uh, roll it twice. You, you're cutting out for me, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, you... sorry about that. Uh, roll perception twice. Roll perception twice, cool. We'll do... <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> you fucking suck. Oh, yeah, you spent the one is zero. Uh, each roll, <laughs> I'm roll very one, spooked. Each roll, <laughs> one, each roll one, one, two, so that's at least something. It's not like zero successes. Um, like I think apparently, it is, what was it? supposed to happen is that they were supposed to put greater than three instead of greater than four. So the calculations are not accurate. They don't give yeah. you. Oh, you actually three. have two successes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, that's fine. Yeah. Cool. Two successes. How do I do? <laughs> it was still funny to My... see that plus. <laughs> yeah. System <laughs> to roll is a bit uh, wonky. Uh, in it's, it's uh, roll twenty. It's an error in the sheet. They were supposed to put greater than or equal to. Instead, they just put greater than. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, do I see anything? What's you actually? What's you result? notice uh, kind of like a weird remnant uh, going into the door. And uh, you kind of like you feel some sort of strange presence around you. I uh, I I tell the rest of this. Uh, I go, there's there's someone here. I put up both my hands into like get ready for like ectoplasm beams of like the I don't, I don't know what. It's like, <laughs> like, it's like everywhere. Active scanning to see if he can't pick anything up on any, uh, pick up anything on the relevant spectrums. Yeah. Uh, just one yeah, second um, though. Um, uh, you actually do feel something though. Like whatever you're feeling doesn't feel dangerous though. Oh. Whatever's around you actually feels. Okay. Uh, kind of like someone's trying to tell you something. I, uh, I put down both of my uh, expert goes. Is is someone there? Like the voice of like uh kinda of like a like a woman kind of trying to like whisper into your ear. Oh, saying Jesus. like uh Emma <laughs> uh, uh Flamstein. Flamstein? Is that like a Russian singer German singer, damn it. Uh uh I I look around and says, uh, I say, uh, Dio, could you check out the name Flamstein? Yeah, I'm going to instantly have the or use um, that information to do some investigation there. Uh, they, uh, when you when you type it in, I'd say it's pretty basic. You see, like kind of like a yeah. a strange Google article, or not Google, or sorry, an article on Google. When you search it very quickly, of like a a one of the first supervillains ever documented, uh, it seemed to be someone who had made some sort of demonic pact. It, from how it's described, it's like a pale-skinned man with dead eyes and scraggly blonde hair. Oh, that's that you, guy. over two hundred years ago. You hmm. freezes for a moment as he looks this up. And slowly says to his duplicate, which is uh, right next to Green Ghost. So you may want to tell them something. The duplicate looks to the Green Ghost and then slowly begins to decide if he should actually tell him. Um, yeah, disagree. Okay, <laughs> so I was able to find something. Apparently. We are dealing with someone who has made a pact with a demon. That's it. Just a pact with the demon. That is it. No ghost. 
No one that is did. all the information I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. It's like it's, it's not like uh, Flamstein is like 200 years old. Probably should be long since dead, and also may or may not be in league with the demon. No, no, just they made a pact with the demon. That's it. <laughs> well, can I? Can I? Um, uh, the perks I have uh danger sense, lie detection, and ultra hearing. So I want to use the lie detection on him. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, no, I'd say give it a roll. I don't know how much uh, Deus is trying to hide it. But <laughs> <laughs> I think he's pretty freaked. <laughs> yeah, with, with my sound powers, I can detect like uh, voice fluctuations and um. Patterns. Yeah, the inflection in one's voice. Yeah, so I'm pretty good at knowing when, when people are lying. <laughs> yeah, I'd say you can definitely tell that. Uh, He's 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 trying to kind of withhold some some bad some bad stuff. Uh, also, Deus, as your uh, more, it seems like this is like uh, an infamous supervillain that's kind of rumored to uh, not have died. You know, like yeah, hundred years ago or so. So it's like a, and he's known to be uh, quite powerful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just really quickly, I'm going to. Uh... Uh, try and make a direct link to uh, Boulder Boy's uh, communicator and basically, uh, you know, silently tell him, okay, so we are dealing with some much more difficult opponents than even I anticipated. You may want to take this seriously, like <laughs> right now. Okay. Uh, how <laughs> serious are we talking? Are we talking like a situation serious or as in serious enough in that i feel like these ones may actually even be able to kill you serious he uh you guys get like a small like buzzer on your uh wrist uh, like uh kind of or sorry you're, you're like wrist computers yeah. and it's uh it's doing an all call again uh for any superheroes in the area uh, and you see uh, Boulder Boy's message, um, but it, it appears that uh, everyone is about like you're kind of getting like the responses quickly, saying that people are about like an hour out or so. Oh. But they they they'll they'll show up as soon as they can, and uh, there might be some you know vigilantes that might take the call. But for the most part, you guys are kind of you know stuck. An here. hour, an hour. That's look. We can't. Uh, super villains can get any amount of stuff done now. This has got to be us. Also, I have two heroes here. Yeah, oh. well, speaking of, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Slash Morgue <laughs> or Midas <laughs> at all. Slashinga, My Green Ghost, Slashinga! <laughs> look, look. <laughs> We we've seen signs of the struggle, and it's obvious they're here somewhere, but we haven't had seen any of them. We have to check out. Well, we we have missing knights of um something. Olympus. <laughs> the in, in character is like Tanisha doesn't even bother to remember. It's like yeah, we we have like missing heroes, right? Uh, and yeah. all we have are, are scratches on the walls and. So, like, this is still a situation here. Uh, I, I, I look at uh, Thunder Shockley. Can you, uh, you know, do the hearing thing? Maybe see if there's anyone still in the building. I can. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ear to the ground. <laughs> uh, quite literally. Uh, so um, you can hear... Uh, actually, in just a, it seems like it's about like two, three rooms. So there is, sorry, in one room over, you can hear someone kind of uh, like groggily. Uh, it doesn't sound like they're trying to yell, but they're like they're trying to like say aloud, like, help. Does it sound like a raptor? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> it's, uh, it actually, it does sound like somebody with a strange vo like like voice box. Fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> so my ears are gone, and, and my hand is just going to point in a direction. And said, I run. Okay, <laughs> one room over. Before over that, yeah. you, <laughs> before that, you do hear uh, another voice. 
a very creepy uh, tone, uh -huh. uh, talking to somebody else, going like, uh, visitors behind us. They don't seem to be much of a threat. You want me to handle them? You hear uh, a, a much kind of like more kind of like boisterous voice uh, arrogantly go, ah, you might as well. Hey, probably will only take a few moments anyway. It's up to you. We're already almost done with our plan, no matter what. Yeah. So, so, so I stand up uh, in 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 superhero voice and I say, uh, "Someone over there needs a lozenge, and he's being guarded by two arrogant perks." <laughs> <laughs> Dio Machina turns to uh, Thundershock. All right. So, where are the actual people we're supposed to deal with? I'm pretty sure any one of us could easily uh, help whoever needs it, but we should definitely focus on the villains here. There are two, there are two guys over there that uh, seem pretty, pretty confident. Uh, I didn't hear any kind of bravado in their voice. They think they can handle us. If you're looking for villains, it, should, it sounds like it's one room over. And it sounds like they have... Uh, I, I run up and say, but uh, if we if we get Slash Morg, we can... um. <laughs> He'll be able to help us. <sighs> Fringos. If you yes. want to help them, help them. If anything, oh. I'll be able to delay them. My minions can at least buy us time. But we have to stop whatever they're doing here. Okay, I will be back in like two minutes. Uh, <laughs> and to where... Uh, <laughs> to uh, where uh, Thundershock heard the voice coming from. Okay, I'm just going to call after you... Uh, don't don't forget to not let your underwear show. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I might have described that somewhat badly. Uh, it's like past this room is the room with uh, like the the wounded person, and then in the room past that. So you have to walk into this room anyway if you want to get towards this, the the other okay. people talking. Yeah. yeah so you, you have to go into this room no matter what. Yeah, we're, okay. we're gonna go in there. Um, Chuck is in interested. Uh, as you guys enter the room, um, you do see, uh, this is like some sort of like battle room, like it's where they might do their strategizing and stuff like that. Yeah. It's much nicer than the one at your mansion. And it's, uh, <laughs> the, uh, there is a, a blood streak across the wall and then there is a seven foot tall man with a raptor head, uh, laying on the ground, <gasps> not like, you know, he's up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God someone's here. Slubagar, I can't believe it's you! Lushinga, <laughs> 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 god damn it! <laughs> I, I, uh, I fly over as fast as <laughs> Wait, is he tied yeah. up or is he just on the floor? It's just on the floor, he seems to be like holding a wound in his, uh, his chest. <laughs> okay. Thank God you're, you're sorry, I'm using the wrong voice. Thank God you're all here. I sent that distress call a while ago. We weren't sure if anyone heard it. No, no, we uh we got it. Sorry, we were dealing with high voltage, uh wait no, voltage. There we go. We were dealing with him in the uh next room over. Sorry we're so late. Uh, no, it's good to see you guys. Uh he um Green Ghost is fangirling, but continue. <laughs> Do you what uh, are you guys with? Are you from the Templars of Justice? The uh, no, the, the, on, the council. On. No, no <laughs> one, no one say anything. I swear uh, to God, now is not the time. No one uh, say anything. Okay. No, uh, I, I, I shut up. Tony is going to say something. going to say congratulations, my good sir. You have just been rescued. By the, I'm gonna have one of the robots uh, emit a very loud funky noise. <laughs> <laughs> I am sound incarnate. You cannot shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> he has many ways of doing sound. It's it's important. <laughs> As you're trying to, to to temper the situation, Boulder Boy walks in, and uh, <laughs> you see Slashingo kind of like almost like roll his eyes. Yeah, he's like, "Are you guys with the superheroes of Milwaukee?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you are correct, sir, <laughs> and just completely imitate the green the green ghost, <laughs> like just making fun of him. <laughs> Temporarily, I add. 
and Farrell. <laughs> uh, regardless, yes, you guys look a lot better than the dregs that they usually get. Yeah. Decide. Hey, a little, a little respect for the dead. Bird. No, no, I'm, 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 I don't mean to sound disrespectful. I, the team just has a bit of a reputation. No, 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 don't worry. Why is your face a, a dinosaur? I gotta yeah. know. <laughs> Trying to be like, oh, don't worry about it. And Greek is just like, why is your head a dinosaur, man? <laughs> I really need to know. It's too. <laughs> Gosh, Karen, you can't just ask why people's faces are dinosaurs. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> you're right. That's super racist. Alright, it's so, so, <laughs> dinosaur man. Yeah, I'll be like, okay, guys. Okay, guys. We, we need to we need to find out some stuff from this guy before he dies. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he he seems he gets himself back up. He seems to just be like happy to have people there. Yeah. Boulder boy uh, seems to toss him something, and uh, grabs it and kind of like punctures it into his chest. And it's uh, it, it seems to uh, oh. like like, a hype, like what's up? It's like a hype, oh, that someone said something. Like it just sort of like uh, like kind of glazes over the wound a bit, and uh, he seems to be kind of like pumped full of adrenaline, so he's standing back up. I I look at and go, oh right, uh, do you know where Midas is? They took him. Is a stim pack. <laughs> uh, took him. I I think it has something to do with Midas's powers. Oh sure. Uh, while this is going down, can I just have like, four of my uh, eight robot minions continue on past over towards where uh, the conversation of the villains was likely uh, held? Uh, they they uh, kind of walk forward past that way. Uh, also, can I can I quickly ask uh, Deus? Uh, uh, oh. Uh, is there any uh, details regarding how the demon is summoned? Like the 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 sort of pact that is made. I have uh, a theory. <laughs> would you would you it's have probably wrong? Scrounge up anything. Uh, if that's if you can. Look up. Uh, it seems to be kind of a mishmash of like kind of hokey pseudoscience websites and like. Uh, you know, as I said, like the, the you know conspiracy boards talking about this guy being like, you see a lot of sightings of him and stuff, but there doesn't seem to be anything on his powers or how he gets there, how he summons. Some people say that there is like a black vortex around him at times, but uh, well, we a lot of times that. when people try to take pictures, <laughs> yeah, when people try to take pictures, it seems like it kind of like blacks out around on the picture sometimes, okay. but other times they get a clear shot of him. <laughs> So it seems like there's some sort of variation in his uh, his appearance and his powers. Okay. Well, we got. I think he was going to tell uh, Green Ghost. Uh, all I can concretely say is that there is demonic uh, forces involved as well as darkness. Whatever it is, it can obscure him. Not just okay. him in the visible sense, but in the sensory department. There's some sort of darkness that obstructs even light itself. So, um, wow, uh, it's actually, uh, you start getting kind of like a weird, like, uh, you have like, I, you have like a live feed to all your guys' cameras, right? All of your minions. Yeah. Um, you, uh, you see that like, they're kind of like, like walking down like a corridor and, uh, you just see darkness after that. Then you start seeing some really freaky shit. Hard to describe, like your mind can hardly kind of comprehend it. And it seems like certain things, like the, the video card, or not the video card, so like the screen can even barely show what's going on. Like it's like fizzling out. It's just, it's like you're seeing something your eyes can't truly understand. Can I have the robots switch through uh, different um, sensors? So, like, switch them to infrared, you know, radio signals, like just start trying to get a feel for what they can actually use to sense something through the uh, uh, when you start to go through you get uh, to um kind of like 
UV, like you get to a certain point, like like heat detection stuff like that, and that's like totally cold. And then uh, it, as as you go through, you get one. Um, I'm trying to think of like the right term, but uh, you start seeing visions of people, and it's uh, some really disturbing stuff. You know, like uh, very gross. Like I wouldn't describe it, but you wouldn't want to describe it either. Like you would be like, oh god, is this somewhere that? Like where are they right now? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like you're you're definitely like, what is going on? And you're like, uh, should I shut the screen? Like, <laughs> like well, yeah. this is this is weird. And uh, they, they seem to be like, you see like like strange like beast men and stuff like that, and like like just all types of odd crap that they're seeing. And they seem to be unable to move as well. Can I do a kind of like a radar ping off of the? Uh... I mean, to see if they can uh, create a at least some general image on anything uh, physical. Um. Yeah. They. It seems to be nothing around them. Hmm. All right. Uh, nothing physical in nature, so no uh, shapes or anything. Like it's just the corridor. But yeah, whatever. not that they can. Actually, it seems like when they ping off, it seems to go for miles. Ooh. Like they're not hitting any walls or anything. Dio Machina is re uh, relaying at least the general idea in that he's not able to actually get anything concrete from his uh, uh, robots. Um, he does omit the details of what exactly uh, they saw when they, you know, saw those kind of like grotesque, uh, you know, displays through one of the uh, sensors. But basically, he summarizes it as most of their uh, scanners and completely incapable of making heads or tails of this. I, I, I say, all right, looks like we've got to rely on our own eyes then. Everyone ready to fight? Right. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Um, Dazzler. Yes. When we do get into the fight, see if your light can't pull anything off. Darkness seems to be a big theme for this villain. If I can, what? See if you can't use your uh, light powers to pull something off. This villain seems to rely pretty heavily on darkness. Okay. Gotcha. So, uh, guys, uh, I think uh, we might have to take a break, actually, uh, and uh, resume next week, because... Uh, I didn't know we were going to go on this long with this. Thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy to do another one. If you, I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I I had a lot, I had a good time here. Um, <laughs> same is uh, same time. Oh, Shingo. sorry. I'm just happy we got to meet Shingo. Sinks. Just fuck, I still can't do it. <laughs> Shingo! Slash Inga. Slash Inga. Uh, All right, got it. On you were saying that. Um, Wondering for you, uh, do you want it, do, it? Would everyone be cool if we did like an hour later? Uh, yes, actually. Um, that would be fine. You mean... Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to an hour later. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, yeah, if we can get an hour, that'd be fine. Did you say that was good, uh, Uni? You mean like next week, same day, but an hour later than when we started today? Yep. Okay. Uh, it actually worked great for me, too, because that gives me a little bit of time to, to take a, a, a nap and stuff, because I get done work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah, I'd, uh, I'd love to uh, continue next week, guys. I'm going to try to... Uh, I was kind of surprised, uh, <laughs> but uh, aside from that, we'll uh, pick up right where we left off. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, uh, thanks so much, guys. i got to leave like straight away, so I'll see you guys all next week. All right. Cool. All right. Okay. Have a nice one. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Take care. I'm going to really, go buy a beer. I really like this character. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Oh, if, if, this, if this ends up becoming like a more of an ongoing, then Thundershock and Dazzler should totally open up a club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because I have, um, that, that, have was my, uh, that was my lifestyle uh, shortly before joining Milwaukee. That's kind of how I ended up bankrupting myself. And um, 
Well, that's perfect then. Yeah. So like, um, I, 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 I feed on that night club kind of thing. It's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'll we, catch we, you guys later. Have, like, two, 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 two. <laughs> see you later, Jake. Take care. Bye. I'll see you all uh, next week as well. Cool. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you need this was uh this was fun. Um, I kind of liked trying to figure out all the different things I could do with sound. Because, yeah, because it's it's quite a uh, flexible. Yeah, because um the the first idea I had pitched was light, but then um then I realized well we already had a light person. So I switched to sound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although I have a little bit of, of trouble with uh, your mic. It's kind of hard to hear you. Oh, I am so sorry. You, um, if I had known, I would have tried to uh, boost it. Let me just check something here. Levels. How's that? Oh, that's way worse. Than <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, hang on one second. Let me just uh, switch this thing off. Wait, wait, no. 